of Freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name remains Mars A. Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra London. We are here live and direct. Today is the 11th day of the sixth month 2023. Tata Bobo Chiri Notu, no one key see. Now for Puku Abo Neri Abo Nato, therefore Tata Bobo Chafo. We are live and direct. Do not forget that today, shortly, I'll be joined by Mazi China Sanwuru, a member of the Directorate of States of the Indigenous People of Biafra, in order to give us the information that we need to know and address Biafrans. Therefore, I welcome each and every one of you to welcome your friends and we wishers onto this hallowed platform because this is our rallying point. Eba Kobidro, oh, this is where we worship. Biafra is our religion, our number one religion. Every other religion becomes secondary. Therefore, I urge each and every one of you to draw nearer to your listening devices. You can listen to us through our frequency modulations FM stations CHK 102.3. Sorry, it was 102.1. CHK 102.1 in most parts of Biafra land. 102.1. We are also on free to OS A satellite. You can be hearing us live on satellite. Also, you have our IPOB community radio application. It is a low data consuming app. Therefore, as long as you have a smartphone with you do not hesitate to put some data in your phone in order to listen to today's exposition information from Mars China Sanwuru IPOB community radio is there on Play Store also you can get us on TuneIn TuneIn radio or simple radio and other myriads of options on the social media. You can hear us from Radio Biafra or on Radio Biafra House of Service. You will be hearing us live and direct. Radio Biafra House of Service on Facebook. IPOB Rapture Media. Biafra Television, Biafra, the Biafra Digest, many of them, there are many options. Just ask, how do I listen to Radio Biafra London? Mazin Namdekano is our leader, the indefatigable leader of the indigenous people of Biafra who started this race, who established this radio in order for us to be enlightened as a rallying point do you know what is a rallying point as a rallying point for us to know ourselves as brothers you know before the coming of Mazin Namdekano there was nothing like um any ideology rallying us as a people we have none completely none very sad indeed you see what we are suffering today as a people it is due to 
lead, complete leadership failure. Com you know, complete leadership failure in our land. You see how we are moving like a ships without shepherds. In Biafra land, our youths are moving around, no guide. All over the world, we are everywhere. Due to ignorance, some people think that it's a credit. We are not all over the world for holiday or on holidays. We are just scavenging, like our brother used to call. Say we are all scavengers, and that is the truth. That is why we need to join this struggle. You contribute your quota, I do mine. This is the struggle for survival. That is what we are doing. Because our political class has failed us, completely failed us. We are just like orphans. Nobody cares for us. What matters is everybody. Oh, yeah, to your attention. Oh, Israel, go and hustle for your life and your family. We have been sentenced into individual hustling, survival, to survive. Whereas we are not living as a people, we are individually surviving, which is very dangerous for a people. Very highly dangerous. Do you remember a few years back when is it UNESCO made a, a pronouncement that uh, in the next 75 years, if care is not taken, that Igbo language will be extinct. And the people we are doubting saying, no, this is not, uh, this is impossible. Let me ask you. Or let me inform you. In today's Middle East, the dominant, the, the language there today is Arab. Do you hear me clear? You know, I say one of these days, I will talk about it for you to understand. Most other indigenous population has been either assimilated or extinct. Do you know extinction? It doesn't mean that uh, the whole people will be killed. No. What it means also, once you are assimilated, you lose your identity. Identity loss. Because once you lose your identity as a people, you are virtually no more existing. Do you understand? Uh, Tafawa Belewa, who was the first prime minister of Nigeria, he came from a tribe called, is it the Kere or Kerewa tribe? That tribe today is extinct, but they have people, you understand? They have people. Uh, that are from that tribe. Uh, 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 let me just hold on. Uh, do you understand? There are people from that tribe, yes. Uh, uh, but uh, they have lost their identity. When you ask them now, They'll tell you that they are Aosa. <laughs> Do you understand? Do you understand me? They tell you that they are from Aosa. But it's lie. Because they has they have been assimilated. Do you understand? That is the reality. Now they don't they no more exist. 
the same thing in the Central America. There is a, ta a tribe called the Taino, the indigenous tribe in the re owners of some, Amer I mean, this um, America, Central America, the Taino tribe. They no more exist. They are extinct. Because any of them that are not that human beings, them that are human beings, all of them have died. No. They have lost their identity. That is the worst thing you can do to a people. Losing your identity, you become bad. You don't know whether you want a luma we one Allah. It doesn't matter whatever you have, you will not be happy as a people, never. Therefore, the fight for the restoration of Biafra is the fight for the survival, our survival as a people. Remember the key word, survival. What Britain wanted to do us is this, to submerge us into darkness and we become extinct what is happening in our land today is a big evidence our young ones are not guided you know do you remember from i think 80s 90s this uh, mantra Nollywood actor, you know, added fuel to the fire. A boutique. Kai kuri wendo. Gaapa we ga abutego. Nobody cares about organization, government. Nobody cared. That was when what you are seeing today was being hatched or egged. Let me put it like that when they were impregnating our land in order to get the 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 result of what we are seeing today uh, people have been sending me inboxes on what is happening in our land young boys and girls are being naked going to charlatans they call native doctors these are not native doctors these are scammers you know, pouring them is it blood of animal, being naked, pouring them blood of animal in the name of uh, making charms for them to ibutike. We will face them. Don't worry. I told some of the people, say, don't worry, we will face them. I POBI, we are warriors. We are physical warriors. We have fought and continue fighting. Do you remember the baptism of fire? Since two years after the rendition of our leader, we fought, we survive. This scourge that it, remember before a few months back or last year, what was raining was eating feces, eating shit openly. Now in the name of Ibutike, Britain wants to turn us into a country, a nation of zombies, worse than Almagiris. People don't understand the grand plan, the grand conspiracy and plan of the British Caliphate. They want to hurt your Hamechai Aye, Chineke Kwenai Hojo. They want to recreate us so that I know how to Britain, I know what. That is what is happening. Using our gullible politicians, our people as agents, tempting them with money and political positions and they are selling their souls to, to Lucifer, to the British Satan. Uh, before we love Igbo people, we are people that love knowledge, wisdom. People that love excellency until after they started shifting that love to money 
complete money who has money is a person that have brain that is the mantra very wrong and demonic that is why our young people and uh, Nollywood did not even uh, spare the, they added the fuel into fire promotion of vices social vices in the name of Ibutike instead as uh, somebody wrote that he was misuse was something they would have used in promoting our culture and cultural values Nollywood you know yesterday we talk about it I said it that give Igbo man weapon to fight enemies outsiders he will turn it into fighting his own people the only race that has access to built Nollywood from scratch what they we are promoting we are anti us what they we are promoting we are anti our anti our culture anti our values in us now which kind of human beings are these in the name of him everything is converted to money what the 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 maximum objective of any woman is money to make his personal money and that is why our land has been going from bad to worse and the nigerian government or britain through the uh, using nigerian government is helping us to be more zombies this scourge in our land must stop we will face them young all these people that are calling themselves native doctors trying to bring in bad image on our very beautiful cultures and traditions and values we will face them i am saying it here on a we will face them we shall face them because they are becoming a scourge in our land this is not who we who we wear this is not us all that matters to our people is money 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 because of the promotion of money you put that you become automatically you become the best person it doesn't matter before i could remember before if you make money you go out and make money come back to your parents your parents, it doesn't matter how poor they are they will ask you one girl good teaching what they go because they grow more money go to you can you teach because because you are joke that is who we were before. Manata, I know you see you. Oh, 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 chana chabute, kena chana chabute. As long as it's money, our cultural values have been destroyed. But here on Radio Biafra, we we make sure to face these vices, social vices in our land. I am now joined by Mazi China Sanwuru because we have to start as quick as possible so that we can take calls ma azichina sanwuru please welcome to the program the platform is yours please go on um, uh, good evening good evening good evening um dear friends and other lovers of freedom my name is Mazichina Samoru. Mazichina Samoru served the indigenous people of Biafra as a member of the Directorate of State. This evening, I have come on Radio Biafra once again to talk to Biafrans around the world, to talk to our people who are being misinformed to educate our people, to update our people, and in fact, you can call it a general briefing on the Biafran struggle, what is happening, the ones you don't see on social media, the ones you have not heard of, some things that don't happen in the public, what many of you don't know, that sometimes 
some mischievous people will just come up on social media and start creating those who are irrelevant. They have no plans. They have nothing to offer for the struggle than to scavenge for money, look for every little thing to steal from IPOB, raise papers, forge documents, to go to Duke Mazen Nam the Colonel inside the DSS custody. Any little move they make is all about money. I have come this evening to educate our people. This struggle, for me, this is almost 10 years in this struggle. Likewise, other comrades who have come for very, we have come very, very long way. Sacrifice has been made, and we have continued sacrificing for this struggle. Comrades have disappeared. Many are detained in the Nigerian underground cell all over Nigeria. And we feel we must continue to educate our people to remain resolute, to remain strong, irrespective of anything we are seeing on social media, we are seeing among people who are inside us, no matter anything we see from infiltrators, agent provocateurs, we must understand that these things must exist. There must be people playing this role whenever you are fighting for freedom. I don't want our people to be carried away when they come across agent provocateurs. I don't want our people to be, you know, feel down when you come across infiltrators. I don't want you to have a weak heart. The only thing you can do for yourself and for this struggle, always rise up, confront them head on. Do not give them any breathing space because some of them are also inside IPOD. Some were taught to lie low to collect information from IPOB. Sometimes it might be a word you said somewhere, then we take it on and move on to another level. Even till today, there are still some leaking of information that still confirm there are still infiltrators inside IPOB. There are still people who are still hanging around one foot in IPOB, one foot in an unknown place, they tell you they are confused. And for me, anybody who says he's confused in this struggle, you have to be very careful with that person. He is not confused that he don't know the right thing. But he's a weak-minded person. He is not deputed in IPOB. Sometimes some of them came for money, financial gains. When they are not getting the financial gains, they tell you they are confused. Some of them cannot do anything without taking money. Some of them can never in their life offer any services without being paid. Some of them can never in their life sacrifice anything for anybody you found them inside the struggle. And these are human characters, these are human behaviors. But one thing I have come this evening is to tell our people and their friends or the lovers of freedom, IPOB is intact. The leadership of IPOB is intact. All our plans, strategies, yes, some might be delayed, but we have overcome them in these past two years. There is nothing there or there is no people or group of people doing what we are doing at this level worldwide that will not face challenges. That is one thing I want our people to understand. Challenges are normal in life. And if you if you think you are not ready to undergo these challenges. 
what you have to do is you peacefully sit aside do the one you can if it is to join the rallies only join the rallies if it is to clap hand when ipob does anything you feel it is positive for the struggle you clap hand for them you think it is to go to the meeting and contribute the little money you have do that all of us are not expected to deliver or offer the same services for the restoration of Biafra. But what we are asking everybody is that you must participate in one way or the other. There are people in the front line, living in the bushes, chasing the Fulani headsmen. There are people in the comfort of their homes, walking through the social media. There are people on diplomatic missions, taking risks from one country to another, making moves. You are not making it for China Samoru. You are not making it for Chike Dozien. Neither are you doing it for any member of the DOS. All we are doing is to make sure that Mazen Nandekano is released from the hands of the enemy. Restore Biafra. By any means. That is all what we are doing. We have not come to drag issues with people. We are very focused in our mission. By now, many of you would have learned a lot that after two years, remember that on 19th of June this year, we are talking about eight days from now, will be complete complete two years Mazen Nandekan was kidnapped and renditioned to Nigeria. Many of you never believe that IPOB will survive till today. Many of you never believe that IPOB will be waxing very strong like we are doing today, irrespective of all the challenges. The moment Mazin Nandekano was adopted, all we heard was dissolve IPOB, destroy the DOS, hand over ESN to the governors. You people cannot handle them. They have no money to feed them. This was all we heard. Let's take over this leadership. This was all we heard. Very few words, very few people were advising the leadership and most of the frontline principal officers in this movement to hold on. Only few people. Many people. Because the Nigerian government was inside IPOB, working with the infiltrators. They were right inside. All of them circled Mazin Nandekano. All this contributed in all the challenges. I used to say it. Let me make it very clear. Mazin Nandekano have not witnessed, yes, his invitation, but Mazin Nandekano have not witnessed this kind of confrontation from Nigerian government against the IP, even when he was outside. In 2015, when Mazen Nandekano was also adopted in Lagos, for nearly two years, IPOB fought. He didn't know what we experienced outside. He might be in detention. What happened between 2015 and 2017 was a joke. It was a joke compared to what has happened. Remember, in 2015, we were only carrying flag, marching round, and they were killing us. They were massacring us round Biafra land. Then, when they were massacring us, Fulani headsmen were moving in inside Biafra land. The Nigerian security was killing us. The Fulani has men, we are occupying our land, butchering our peoples and the farm, raping our sisters and our mothers before IPOB step up. 
ESM was formed. And it was just six months ESM was formed, Mazen Namdekano was adopted, was sold. It is now when he was sold that we start hearing many things, plans people had. That Mazen Namdekano is forming ESM. After he has formed ESM, he will be taken out of the way. Some of these things, we never heard them. That means there were a concrete plan that was laid down. People were already positioning themselves that Mazin Namdekan would be something no IPOB leadership have an idea of such thing. But if there were people whom Nigerian government, one thing is this, and I continue to say it, our people must continue to be on our lads, should not be carried away with anything. Don't be moved by anything you see. Don't be moved by uh, women smiling on makeup, coming to you, talking. Don't be moved. Don't be moved by people coming to talk sweet mouth to you because of the struggle. Make sure you are not moved by the time praise those who are praise singers, they come to you, they start praising you. Don't be moved. Because when Mazin Namdekano was adopted, in 2015, 14th October, and was later freed in April, that was 2017. When he arrived one year and one month in Israel, people thought it was over. But that was when the Nigerian government now set up an agenda. That was when Nigerian government when Mazen Namdekano reappeared in Israel, that was when Nigerian government set up their agenda. They move into with heavy budget on how to get Mazen Namdekano. People were eating from them, taking money, trying to help them, track them. People will lavish money, dash them money, dash siblings. When they were throwing this money, they think they forgot that that hand. They are clapping for mosquitoes. It's the same way they clap and kill mosquitoes. They started, they know. And they knew the caliber of men in the IPOB leadership. That's why they tried all they could. Send him out. Surround him with stories. And at the end of the day, Mazen Namdekano, just from, I can tell you, the legal teams can tell you, from the time Mazen Namdekano set his left foot in America. That was where they started collecting every data about Mazen Namdekano. And the people in America, many Biafrans, who call themselves Biafrans in America, played a significant role in the rendition of Mazen Namdekano. They helped in furnishing the Nigerian government information about Mazen Namdekano. Some of them did it knowingly. Some of them did it out of uh, ignorance. They are all part of the conspiracy plan. Because sometimes the government use you, you don't know they are using you. Some of them brought out money to dangle for IPOB. Fortunately, you thought they were real. But people like me or other members in this leadership, we were very careful because it was not only Mazin and the Kano they were tracking. There were many people, the, the people in America furnished the Nigerian government. And I can tell you people today, when you saw Nelly, brought out a, a, a company license, this is Jonas Awaru license with his family, before Nelly brought these things out, if these informations were correct, it was the DSS that handed it over to them. Because what they do is the DSS collect data, they now give them to try to psych the public 
all those things you saw everything you people saw nearly and the, some of these infiltrators disposed on uh, social media they contained in the cases the dss file against mazen namdekano i want every different to know this there is there are over two thousand pages of what the dss filed against mazen namdekano with specific report on each person their role in ipob and what they are doing I want every dear friend to open your ear. But one thing is Chukwa Diyama is great. Not afraid of anything. What we are doing is right. Anywhere in the world, we have not come to kill anybody. We are fighting for self-determination. But I want every dear friend to know this. That every account, maybe you gave those women Dear friends, I'm, I'm opening the eyes of many of you. Maybe you don't know. They send you money from America. Oyibo or Nelly. Most of the people they sent money to. Those accounts. Just only that. Some of them they won't. Because if you are in good time with them, they won't make any trouble. But the moment you do anything wrong with them, they hand over your account. They hand it over to the Nigerian government. Everything you see, what they do is this person, oh, China Sanwaru is our problem. They take anything they have gathered from Mazen Namdekano before now, they handed it over to the DSS. In these 2,000 pages, they pencil down everything about us to the Nigerian government. Forget about all these things. They come on, they talk with people. Some of you take it like as if they're making exposure. They make exposure is to confirm because they want to gather more information. They wrote, they take you, for example, the question you will ask yourself is China Samoru not fighting for this struggle? I stood. In this struggle, from the time they hold Mazen Namdekano, the first time, the second time, I am here. I have never deviated. But they took, for you to see the enemies of this struggle, they tried to take all our information and hand over to Nigerian government. Compile it and hand it over to Nigerian government. Who did it? It's people inside IPOB. And let me say this thing on air so that people will understand. I'm not telling you to say anything, but I want you to reason. Those doing it, what is their plan? The same way Mazin Namdekano have his own siblings. The same way China Samoru and other members of this struggle have their own siblings. But most times, the siblings of Mazin Namdekano, they are working freely in Nigeria doing their businesses, driving their cars, as living life the way they want. But China Samoru family, everybody is on the road. Chike Dozian family, everybody is on the road. Any other person family, everybody is on the road. Because we have been sold out. Who sold us out? Is it a foreigner or people inside IPOD? These are questions. We leave it for their friends to answer. Are we wrong fighting for the liberation of our people? Is there anybody who will say China Samoru have done him this, the DOS have done him that, only that we are standing in the gap? Many coordinators in Biafra land, they have run away from their homes if they don't like you, if you refuse to work with them. There were coordinators they paid 10 million naira especially in Anambara, in Imo State, they pay them to tell them to hand over IPOB groups to them. And these were people. Were there anybody IPOB paid money to gather? No. Did Mazen Namdekanu pay anybody money to gather them? No. 
we all gathered voluntarily. But these people came, they pay you money to hand over people to them, they pay you money so that you can go and attack IPOB leadership, they pay you money in the name of that they are fighting for Mazen Nam the Kano. They continue to preach that. Today, some of them are tired. They couldn't deliver. The government that was sponsoring them is down. So maybe uh, um, uh, people like Dave Umahi will not bring up more money. Um, uh, or maybe Hope Uzarema is the only one because he's still in power. Today, Oju Zokalu is crying. He won't bring up more money because they all knew what they have all done in one way or the other. So what they wait, they are looking for opportunity to make sure they are making noise on social media to find a new contract because a new government have kept, is just have been sworn in. That's why you see them sometimes they they try to bring in some new 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 voices to see if they can get anything. So this Mas, I hope I'm coming out clear, right? You are Mazi, please go on. It's crystal clear. Thank you. Thank you. So all these things is what I have come here because our people one of our media head, Mazich Hood, a former, he said, please talk to these people. They are 15 minutes memory. After 15 minutes, our people can forget everything. They knew. 15 minutes, everything is gone. Today, everything is, we are seeing it. Those who have senses are recalling most of these things I'm saying. I am not bringing these things from back so that anything can happen but it's for you to be aware of what is happening of what is happening because if you are not being informed must you just hold on yes <clears throat> do not forget okay. that we are live and yes. direct Marzi, go on please go on so, all these things that are happening, what you have to ask yourself, why should people, do you have, ask any of them, come out and say, this is what the DOS did against them. I want everybody to think in that way. Let people come out and say, this is what the DOS did than only black men black men black men black men i say hold on hold on people are just calling i don't know this officer they don't know we are on radio okay they they continue blackmailing the leadership without no concrete evidence this is to make you to lose hope to lose trust and let me say it if they succeed in destroying IPOB leadership, I'm telling you, Mazen Nandekano will not be set free. Go and write it somewhere. Many of them, ask many of them that are doing this thing, ask them, are their names wanted by the DSS? All these people you see, that they are writing and talking and they talk rubbish against the leadership ask them some of them are going to nigeria some of them are sneaking into nigeria they go and do their business some of them are going they are traveling they are traveling with another name they go and do their business when they go and finish do what they want to do in nigeria they sneak out they come on social media they talk rubbish I want to do this. The question Are you wanted by the Nigerian DSS because of the Biafran struggle? Is Nigerian government seeing you as a threat, as people who cannot be bought over for this struggle? Is it to stay on social media to talk? Some of them talking on social media are talking because they want to get papers. Some are talking, like some of them you see in Europe that doesn't have paper. They come, 
They don't have papers. They are talking, and the, some of them will tell them, oh, IP, I'm having problem with IP, or they are fighting, no, 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 because they want to get paper. We are not looking for paper. Because when you talk, the people talking, are you talking for what reason? What are you talking for? What message? You ask yourself a question. Let me come to this aspect. Because this is a general uh, talk about our struggle. Ask yourself, people come on social media. Oh, that's like BOS, do you this? BOS, do you that? BOS, do you this? Ask them, what do they have to offer? What do they have to offer? In the absence of Mazen Namdekano, IPOB leadership, with the little they have, we have gone places. Diplomatically, we have made headway. We don't need to come and tell you reasons are the Nigerian government have capacity. The world is a corrupt place. They can buy anybody. When people come out sympathizing with you, ready to work with you, the best you can do is you keep them. That is why Nigeria goes round. They have not been able to defeat IPO in the global media war. Because already our messages have sank. The leadership are pressing button from any angle they have, which we are not good because I have never seen people most times we do see diplomatic missions is at the end of if they need to sign they come and sign trade something uh, like for example people saw when rwanda came to guinea bissau guinea conakry to sign they were not talking it on radio they were not talking it on social media you only saw rwanda arrive in guinea conakry sign a military or navy alliance with guinea conakry and they walk away the deal is done they came to Benin Republic, the deal is done. It is only our people. Because the government paid them. They promised the government that they will get them information. And when they cannot get any information, they come on social media, they will shout, what do you people have? Because they thought we are fools like them. That will come on social media and tell them, yes, we spoke to this country, this country, you understanding me? No. No. We don't do that because I will tell you what they are doing. Let me explain to you many things some of you don't know. All the rubbish many people in America cost against this struggle. All the those people who go to use Mazinam the Kano's name and the Biafra struggle, begging money. They give money from one politician to another, to the northern part, to the western part. Anybody, they have begged them money to the extent that even if people want to help IPOB, they will tell the people, come to us. We are the leaders of IPOB. Forget about it. All these things, they don't know. Let me say it so that if they want to stop, they, because we know. Do you know what DSS, most of the evidence they collected? Most of the evidence the DSS collected where they go to beg money, people who gave them money, and they know they are taking this money to lavish, to do anything they want. B DSS compiled many of them. Now, what DSS does is they will look at some prominent evil people, prominent who are sympathetic to what we are doing. They will look at those who are very sympathetic, who they feel they may support IPOB. They will go to them with those documents, with all those evidence of money they are giving. They will tell them, you see, these people are just fraudulent. They are not using, the, they are deceiving these people. I'm telling you what is happening. They will tell them they are deceiving you. They are deceiving all of you. Look at the money they are collecting. It is for their own personal enrichment. It is for their, the people say, oh, oh, oh. I am not there. You are not there to defend IPOB. You are not there to tell him that these things they are taking, it is not IPOB that is that is uh, cheating them. You are not there. I am not there. They put it in their mind. Sometimes we blame our people, but we don't know what the government has shown to our people. Sometimes we attack some of our innocent people. 
some businessmen we talk against them we we want to bully them we want to do something wrong to them but i can tell you they support the struggle every Igbo man um, let's just not make the mistake that's why i'm also using this opportunity the dss and the nigerian government should start uh, tagging if you catch anybody you say um, uh, Jaffra. everybody is a sympathizer even in the Aso rock everybody people are sympathizers of Biafrans. people want Biafra to be free when they go because of what some people are doing they go they will use the evidence they show them you see these people you see they are just deceiving these people oh. that is why that is why you hear some of our people we say Biafra will not come it is not going to come because of the campaign the underground campaign people nigerian is not the one they make on social media huh? let me let me inform every one of you it's not the campaign they the nigerian newspaper they write again no no it is far 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 deeper than what you are seeing they they approach our people there are many ways they're approaching our people some are through intimidation they can meet some of them they told them you see this biafra something if you support them you see this your business here we will crash it you will see it is very clear all of you have seen how, what they did to mfl that is for you to understand what they did somebody who worked for apc a cbn governor everybody knew mfl in what way mfl is an apc member he's a cbn governor he worked for apc somebody wrote this this thing and when i snapped this thing and posted it on facebook facebook told me to delete it or they ban my account i quickly deleted it i want everybody to listen i see the person wrote is from somebody um uh, he said mfl is apc mfl worked for apc mfl was controlled by apc mfl contested under apc for presidential uh, uh, as a presidential candidate mfl stole from apc mfl got his orders from apc but now the same mfl have been arrested their apc card carrying member are stating now that he was working for ipod and sponsoring ipod have you people seen what is happening if they want to blackmail any businessman in Biafra land, they go to him and tell you, pay us this money. If not, we will level you, you are sponsor of IPOD. That is why we are selling our people. Everybody must rise up. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated. Sometimes you are surprised why you see some of our celebrities who are doing business you can see only kubana them you see him on them when you see them to go and prostrate towards some yoruba people it is not all about the business it is not all about it is a threat or it is a casual word they have given to them they are being intimidated they are being boxed to the corner tell them ah you are ipod they say we will do you this we destroy your property out of fear stupidity of that person he cannot even rise up say i am not ipod they don't want to raise their voice he believed to go to pay them so that they don't tag him ipod they don't come and destroy his business this is how they have cowed our people towards a corner many of them are falling for the nigerian government and this is some of our people also who have graduated from using ipob name to calm people that is where they have graduated to and all they have done all they have done is to destroy the image of ipod that is only because of their selfish and greedy way of life all the things they have collected sometimes people support them if the people fail to support them again when they go and take money i'm telling you what is happening and i want our I, our Biafran and Igbo brothers 
to raise their voice IPOB have an inquiry number if somebody intimidates you that you are an IPOB member why you are not you want to use the name of IPOB the only thing you can do inform the IPOB leadership let us confront them I am saying this thing on air I may not say it again but it is a way to save you because some of them come and take money from you they say it is from IPOB when they give you the money they take the money from you you know somebody a guy man a guy man um uh, this yahoo people when they take money if you don't give to them they come again they come again they come again they come again that is what they do they come again they come again why i'm saying this i want many of you to i will explain something today it is all about taking money from some people when they don't give the money, they threaten them. If you don't give us money, we will do this. We will do that. Do you see, I don't know if many of you saw, saw a, a, a post, saw a post on Daily Times that they filed Odiano, five people filed Odiano case in United States because of, uh, he killed, they killed their husband and killed this thing. Let me tell you, Obiano did not kill them in the United States of America. Obiano did not kill those people in the USA. He committed a crime in Nigeria. He committed a crime in Anambra. But you see, some lawyers have picked up that and go because they want to. They know Obiano is in the USA. Go and write it somewhere. The case will die after a few months. Because when they put it on newspaper now, they have told Obiano we are they have because they knew Obiano lives in the United States. They knew he lives in the United States. When Obiano is in Nigeria, they cannot even find the case in Nigeria. They told us we go to ICC, we go to this, we go to that. Because they know they are now pushing Obiano. They have found him to USA because maybe he has gone out of government. He's not paying more money. They have taken him to USA. You see now they have said five people. He killed their husband in the USA they start so that when they drag him drag him drag him drag him he release some money for them they don't know when they are taking this money the government is recording it when all they are not paid he will inform the government also these people came and do this this, this they take money from me that is why sometimes I am not very comfortable lawyers who are going to court on our cases to go to put 50 billion compensation, 100, have we received anyone from Nigerian government? Is, so, is, is it all about compensation? Or have we gotten the right? Have we gotten what we want? Shall we pay you 800 billion audio money? Have we received anyone? Because they want compensation, compensation, compensation. Many of them have lost track from the Biafran struggle. They have lost track on the aims and objective why this struggle is here. They have lost track of why IPOB existed. They have lost track why many IPOB members have been killed. They have lost track. I get you judgment, 50 billion. I get you judgment, 100 billion, so that somebody can come. You remember yes on weekend, when yes of weekend was trying to come out for the pdp you remember they said they took yes weekend icc have any one of you heard that case again no they come and make noise in the newspaper that we people like we and ipod the ipob leadership the ipob media we keep record when they brought it they send it to us oh shout about it say that uh, we can we take a weekend to icc i call some people i say see another scam oh, they have come again we that have killed our people some are still in detention till today they could not even remove people in the Iguacha prison there are people we can is holding in Iguacha prison there are people we can transfer to the north in nigeria they could not release them but they are going to icc where we will bring them ticket pay hotel for them pay allowances for them they go and bring one letter 
and they snap it and they post us. Nah, guy, guy, you're already beginning too much. Dear friends, can we open our eyes and stop being emotional? Let's face the fact. Who knows? I don't know. But who knows? When they find that thing and shout, we can have finished now. We expect we can to. But he says he's a lawyer. Let him open chamber now and come and practice that law. They said he's sending to ISIS. Have any one of you heard this case? Because they have pushed, we can have called. Whether he told some people, he have made settlement for the case. Because we knew that we was approaching somebody to tell them to come down on that case. They give them the put. Did you ask the question about it? None of you asked about it again. But if we come and talk, we become the troublemaker. If we come and talk, we become people who don't want their friend to come. If we come and talk, we become people who don't want Mazen Namdekano to come out. Me, China Samoru, members of the DOS and all the gallant officers on ground who have paid the ultimate price. Ultimate price for this struggle. People who have benefited from this struggle. People that we knew them in their life, they have never got any reasonable car in their life before. People who people knew them very well that what they were driving in their life was golf, two hundred dollar golf is today driving Bentley from IPOB from the name of IPOB. And when we talk, when we say stop the evil because of the life of our people who have been killed we have come for a mission we didn't come because of money the government tell them attack them you see these people while they become like the attack lies on the leadership because we know we are the last defense and i'm very happy the way the dos they constituted it imagine them they cannot constitute it if you betray, you betray only yourself. It is in the DOS. It is difficult. Anybody that falls out, falls out on his own ideology. It can never be a general ideology. If you fall out in the DOS, either your greed, your stupidity, because what you say doesn't go the way you want it, that is why you fall out. And today, the records are there. Some of the stupid ones that fall out from IPOB, you see them what they are doing. They have now joined the business fully. Many of them, we knew. Some of them who have gone out, they have now gone. I don't know, most of you saw the video in Orlo last time, where the military are jubilating about two people they killed. Two people they killed, the military were jubilating somewhere in Osumogu. It's Osumogu, not Olo. In Osumogu, the guy that was having chain on the body that the military killed. People did not know that this guy, when we saw this video, the IPOB intelligence unit, we want to know who is this guy the military are jubilating for? Who is he? Nobody could be able to recognize him. Because we thought maybe it's somebody from Osumo, somebody from Oro, somebody from within. We search everybody we ask. Maybe nobody could recognize him. We stretch our hand out of Oro and our number. We now give these things out to other IPOB intelligence officers outside Imo State and Oro. And the guy was recognized as one of the militants in Iguacha, in River State. They call him Bomba. They call that guy Bomba. When we try to recognize who is this guy, who is these people, how come nobody in Anambara and Imo State, communities, many people, this is IPOBs everywhere, we ask, check. Who is this guy the military are celebrating? Who is this guy the military are shooting guns? So you hey, burn him, put him in chain. When we could not, 24 hours, when we could not identify who that guy was, we said, now, push this thing out of this location, send it to other places. By the time we put it 
in the watch I put it all around the, in the central intelligence uh, uh, um, uh, platforms. It, it didn't. It didn't take. It didn't take more than two, three hours. Somebody identified him in the watch. He said, "Oh, this guy, Bomba. Oh, they have killed him. These are the people infiltrators." Because now in the Afra land, in the hinterland, many people have understood that something is wrong with this story they are telling them they are fighting for Mazen and the Kano. Many of them have understood it. So many people are running. So the infiltrators have no choice now. They are recruiting from the coastal region. And it is somebody who has fallen from IPOB now. He's the one helping them to recruit from the River Rhine area. That guy that was killed, he's, he didn't reach three hours. The report came his name is Bomba. He's from Iguacha. He's Iguacha. I don't want to mention his community and his village because we have every details. They say his name is Bomba with the other one. That they are a group of people they are recruiting there now to come and join the criminals in this thing because the criminality must continue. <coughs> the criminality must continue. Now, there is an information peddling that Hopus on them and the guys have come into agreement to come down because of the election coming. So he told them to come down within also because of the election. So they will, they, they, they will, they have come to an agreement. That's why you don't see them. You don't see them again every Monday coming out to see how, how they, they have come to an agreement that they are going to keep calm until the election for hope in case he didn't win the election he will he will use them again and start terrorizing him state. these are the things happening in our land these are the things happening surrounding this struggle these are the things that some of you do not know that is why some of you we told you be careful in Biafra land be careful where you go be careful who you talk to we are in a war front they continue to identify IPOD members. This is a very a hard call. You know the Greek. Uh, he said that he said at a point in this struggle, look at what happened. I don't know if many of you knew this. In this struggle, in Emo State, there was a time, even till now, they said if they hear any IPOB member that say I am for the DOS, I believe in the DOS. They said, kill him. That is one thing you have to know. If they hear somebody say, yeah, I, I believe I, 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 I'm under the DOS, I don't want it. Immediately you say, I am under the DOS. They look for you to kill, especially in Oru, in Oso, in Oru, all this area. Ask yourself, even though infiltrators, who are committing all this crime? Have IPOB come here and say, if he says he's infiltrator, kill him? Have IPOB said like that? If somebody say, I believe in uh, infiltrators, that is who I, have you ever, or he say, we are autopilot. Have you seen where we say kill him? That is the difference. That is to show you the mission of the two movements. The mission of these criminals and the mission of IPOB. Our mission cannot change. Our mission is so unchangeable. Our mission is to make sure at this particular point that Mazin Nam Dekano is released from detention and a referendum be conducted or Biafra goes by any means, by force, by peaceful means. What we know is that Biafra must be restored. Mazin I will stop here so that we can pick up another topic. Then we're watching again. There were, there were Mazin. Um, yes, the second topic about the continuous detention of uh, Mazen, uh, Mazen Namdekano. You know, as we know, he's spelling doom for Nigeria. We know what is happening about the so-called surgery, which uh, the, uh, the plan to hold on our leader. But uh, also, before you dive fully into that, I would like you to talk about Mazen we saw how uh, uh Ojo Carlo is crying Mas, you know we never how you remember that uh, this uh, rendition of our leader which uh is mostly sponsored by Igbo politicians is for them to be given Igbo presidency 
and they don't have nothing they got nothing today man say what do you say about this you know how we and you see somebody like god Jesus or carlo crying telling that saying telling the whole world that nigeria is not fair to people to some people of which this is what Mazin Amdekano has been preaching. That is what gave rise to IPOB. And uh, I say, Buteyake, Ibo, Buteyake, Ibo. Look at Iboho. Where is Iboho today? Uh, once, he, when he was arrested in the uh, Benin Republic, the whole, no matter the diff their differences, the whole Yoruba elders and all what not gathered in order to make sure that he became released. Mazin, imagine that it's Mazin Amdekano. That was, let's say, he was arrested in a Benin Republic. It's evil politicians that we say, even kill him there. Don't kill him, kill him. Mazi, what is going on? You know, sometimes when you think about this thing, you become, you become mad. You want to become even mad. You don't understand what is happening. Now they sell their, they sold their, uh, 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 you know, guarantee, and uh, they don't, they got nothing. Now I want to say that um, uh, you know IPOB is this, uh, uh, make we make them not to get a uh, Igbo presidency, and I have Pokora has said okay, people can vote, no problem, and today nothing, all of them mention. And where's your new here? Maze, I don't know whether our people have shame up all. Maze, please do you know combine it in what you will say about our leaders um, uh, 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 surgery, so-called ear surgery. Uh, please come, please. Mazi, Mazi Chinedu, um, uh, thank you so much. You see this topic you you just uh, you see this topic you rose about how they catch Igboho, how they, they, they how people rally around, and today Ojo Zokalo is crying. The problem is not crying. It's good to cry. If you feel heavy in your heart, you understand me? If the pain is so much, we encourage you to cry if you can. But hold on. So, Mazi, the problem is this. It's not about Ojo Kalo crying. People cry. Babies cry. Human beings, we cry. But the problem is after crying, have Ojo Kalo learned any lesson? Because after crying in the floor of Senate, and he got to misbehave, repeat the same mistakes he have done. Today, from what he said by his mouth, from what Ojo Zokalo said, what we heard from his mouth, that means Ojo Zokalo invested more outside Biafra land, are you understanding me, than he invested in Biafra land. Because according to him, he said he have three factories in Aba, two in Ota, three in Lagos. That means he invested in five companies in Lagos and invested only three. And he comes to our place. And he was once a governor for eight years. For eight years. He has become a senator for many years. During campaign, what we saw is Weibaro Nanjineja Walker, grinding machine. That's what we normally see. He has been there. Oju, what people don't know that Ojo Zokalo from day one, from the time in 2016 when he went to visit Mazen Namdekano in Kuje prison, his mission has always been how to stop the Biafran project. How to stop the Biafra project. When they fell with Mazen Namdekano and he reappeared, they moving in Lagos, in the USA. That was where they went in to sponsor, to put, to, to gather people. There are women we knew that it was through them they enter IPOB. And these women came close to Mazen Nandekano. Very close. Very, very close. And today, this is all, well, this is. Ojo Zokalo is crying remembering all those things but these are the things we have told them on several occasions that no there is nothing you will do in nigeria nigeria will love you as long as you are an evil man there is nothing 
all of them that participated in one way made all he said they want to take his property sometimes it's not the property they see you as a betrayal of the people they know that all just let me say go, go a little bit all just carlos said people he were giving money transport money in his house the thing is this who are those people he said they become agents from the beginning the people were agents that's why they come and take transport money they were doing dirty jobs for you you were giving them dirty you were giving them transport money you, you, he didn't say i set up business for them he didn't say i make them to be rich and you didn't say i set up life for them he said i used to give them transport money Mas it was agent he was giving transport money and you know when people are agent these are agents he used to destabilize other Igbo political uh, groups. He used to destabilize his opponent in the Southeast to oppose anybody and fight everybody. That was the people. Because you're giving them transport from your home. When you are no more giving the transport, they look for other people who will give them the transport and work against you. It is, the, is, the, it is a reality of life, Martin. Man said, I don't know if you understand where I'm going. Yes, yes. That Ojo Zokalo, a billionaire, said he used to give people transport money. He didn't say he was doing business with them. He didn't say I set up something with them. Who, who are you giving transport money to go and do dirty jobs? Because those who take always transport money, Emma, those people who will come to you, they come with car. They tell you, I'm going to give us fuel now, Enegia. Enegi, one million from uh, Ojota to Badagre. You understand me you collect one million that's the transport money and they know you were doing a dirty job for him when you are no more relevant when you are not giving you feel you have used them they turn around also and they work against you these are the people he's complaining that they are working against him because you give them transport money is that what you are saying they say you are doing something wrong sometimes you may send them to go to kill somebody send them hat on or say no we are not going to do that because you give them transport money Mas, this is the kind of ideology this is a kind of politics all these our evil politicians are playing that is why you see them they use many people during the political political uh, 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 um, campaign after they go into office they catch all of them put in the jail because they don't want those people to disturb them someday we kill them until the rule finish they don't mind to support them that is why we encourage our people to desist from these politicians we have already knew their way of oppression we already knew this is the way these people operate Ojo Zokalu, when campaign is coming, he rent some boys, boys that run away from the military, run away from this thing. He gives them gun. They become the talk, follow you him to go kill, do anyhow. What are you doing to the society? And after you leave them, you go back to Abuja. They call you telephone, you don't answer them. Why they won't work against you? Is that the way leaders are supposed to do? Is that the way? Mazi, Ojo Zokalu crying. It's not going to solve the problem. Because sometimes that is not the way the world works. For because you cried. Because you cried in the in the floor on uh, the floor of the Senate, it's not going to change anything. I want to make this thing very, very clear for Joseph Carlo. Even if he fall on ground, roll for them in the Senate House, it is not going to change anything. Instead, it will worsen his own situation because they will know they have broken him. That cry, Ojo Zokalu exhibited in that place, the, the people know they have broken him. That means, that is what they did to him. Ojo Zokalu crying shows frustration tired he's saying unfair it's unfair to say it's unfair what they are doing to us is is an understatement so Mazi, all these people a pretty ask yourself can any northern senator be jailed outside nigeria 
the Nigerian government did not stand up for them. Anyone? Mazi, can you? Is there any? Of course party? not. Mazi, do you remember this short Senate member that Otedola gave six hundred thousand dollar in his cap, Farouk or what? That he hide six hundred thousand dollar on his cap. Did anybody send him to prison? Nobody. No, nobody sent him to prison. Ekweremado, what he did, as long as we don't support organ trafficking and why, because we feel his nemesis. If you go to help him, maybe that devil that is pursuing him will turn around and pursue you. Because they have committed many things. They have committed a lot. Today he's in jail. Can a Nigerian government allow? These are people, they knew the things they did. They knew. They knew what they did. That is one thing we have to know. They knew what they did. What Jesus Kalu, who will come for his rescue? Mazen. Who is going to come for his rescue? I don't have time to tell people, oh, let's fight for Jesus. Nobody fight for him this time around. Because the first time they put him in jail, on this Radio Biafra platform, all of us fought for this Ojo Zocalo. All of us fought that thing just on him. We fought. When he came out, what did Ojo Zocalo pay us with? He started to boast what he will do to IPOB. As I can tell you, when Okezie was in power, Ojo Zocalo persuaded Okezie to bring in military the way he uh, hoped was them brought in military in a in a in a in a in a in, a, in, a, in, a, in a state he boasted how he will bring he boasted he will bring military and come every bushes in our Jukwa, Hafia, all these things every IPOB member that he will do this and that the people that is going to protect you the people that have once protected you is the people you have come to destroy as we are not fools there is no second chance he got that chance we supported we campaigned for him to be released Masi, there are two people we campaigned to be released that time at least i know two prominent people two prominent people one is olisametu and the one is ojo zokalo olisametu i know he came out one time he was grateful for the IPOB raising the voice to join his campaign. He never one day campaign against IPOB or talk about, I think he learned. Rogers Okalu never learned his. He came out, he said that he's King Kong. Then we said, okay, that was as a Gafili Gadoki. We leave him with his Awusa brothers. And today, IPOB have casted the bread upon the water and we are leaving him to found it after many days. Like they said in Ecclesiastes 11, 1. He said, cast the bread upon the water and leave it to be found after many days. That's what we have done for Joseph Carlo. Mazi, let me go to the main topic for the unconditional release of Mazi Namdekano. His health issues. I want every Biafran, I'm going to speak as slow that everybody will understand me because some people may say i'm speaking a little bit fast but this topic i want to use this opportunity to address this topic why i want to address it because whatever we are doing is all for the good intention and after i will come after today or tonight i will make this explanation I will leave it at that because we have a lot of things in our hand we have a lot a lot after i will explain what happened because not everything you see on the social media maybe before you see it on social media maybe they we have fought for over two weeks about these things we might have fought for over two weeks about this subject Mazi, this issue started um I, I would like to give dates it's very very important distance i'm going to talk now i would like to back them up with dates do you understand me i will back them up with dates so that it will be very easy 
for every one of us to understand. Mazi, on 4th, on the 4th of June, on the 4th of June, if everybody is looking, they will be looking at the date. On the 4th of June was on Sunday. On the 4th of June was on Sunday. A Sunday morning around 10 a.m., I think 10 a.m., um, my local time, it's like around 8 in the morning or uh, in Biafran land, 10, 10 a.m. Biafran time. I saw a call from Ifanye Jofo. I'm saying it on this radio. If I lie, if I add my own words, Mechuko Kikadia might take away my life because this involves the life of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. We are taught you cannot be leading people without being honest, being truthful and sincere because of tomorrow, because history will always judge all of us. On that thought in the morning, I saw a call from Balestifan Ejofo. Actually, I missed the call. Um, later on, before I say, let me freshen up because I was going out, I, he repeated the call again. So I, the second time I missed the call, then I called him back. He told me, Mazi, please, I wanted to just update you people. He said, um, um, we went to see Onyendu. Um, so I was like scared because the way he just talked it. We went to see Onyendu, there is some development. I said, what, what happened? I said, when? Because it was Sunday. So my mind was Thursday because I didn't, I didn't communicate to him from that Thursday. He told me, no, we went on Saturday. He said, we went on Saturday, which is third. I'm sure with the dates. I think I'm correct with the dates. He told me that uh, Onyendu informed them to write a letter to the directorate of the DSS directorate of Lagos because of his um, health issue on uh, surgery that is he wants to undertake that he should write it and they should meet the directorate of Lagos for for the issue so he said he wrote the letter within that week so the DSS Lagos gave them appointment on Saturday he said because they came late, that's why he didn't call to inform us. So he said he has tried to reach Maze Edoziem, but Maze Edoziem did not pick up the call. He said, let me just inform you, you can... He said he will also try to reach a former, because there is a way he does, he comes out, he can talk to a former, talk to Maze Edoziem, talk to me, any three of us he gets, he can deliver the message. Sometimes he prefers also to deliver it to every individually. Sometimes he will also bring us together, deliver a message. But unfortunately, I was the one he delivered that message to. He told me they invited them in the DSS to meet the director of legal with son, Michael Zekom. When they get there, they need to bring on and do the box on and do to them. He said they were all sitting. At that point was when they realized that Onyendu went for an op went for an op inside the theater for an operation, but when the time they want to give him anesthesia for the operation, Onyendu said the operation has been booked inside. Onyendu said no, that they need to consult his legal team. I want everybody to listen. So that you can make you compare and contrast. I know there are many other lawyers, but specifically, he told these people to come and they came. When they came, they said that Unyendu went for an operation, but he refused to give a consent the operation to go on because of the anesthesia they want to give to him. So they said, bring the lawyers. Michael Zekomo told them that he cannot give a consent, that he is a lawyer, that he is not a medical doctor. 
that what will happen and he can he will not also encourage a geofor to give any nobody should give consent until the private doctors belonging to us and they call his private doctors comes here them and the dss doctors we go through because the dss say they have checked his blood everything he everything is okay it's just the oppression that they will give him anesthesia for five five minutes or more he will sleep do you understand me and after that he will go into like you know that coma type after the this thing that is the oppression um Ozekome refused he said they must bring in the doctors Ozekome, of course said this is two years we are asking you people to allow private doctor to come and check this man you refuse allow his doctors whom Mazen and the Khan will be comfortable with to come for this operation if there is a need when we do the checkup, they will decide and they can sort it out they said okay they come in agreement that they should go and get this according to what I said they told them okay get the doctors if you get the doctors try to come with them to the DSS the director so we all agree with the doctors with only you in front they will all agree because this is health issue they all agreed he said they were happy onyendu was happy also they left he said onyendu told him to inform his people they should get his doctors when they come they should send the doctors to zekome so they can fix an appointment with the dss barrister was telling me this thing on fourth which is on sunday and on fifth there was a visit they went to visit onyendu i am sure uh, maybe the brothers or the in-laws i don't know those who visited him when when barrister said this message i said oh barrister this oppression that on 25th a lawyer jimako tweeted something that our lawyer said that only and all of us shared it many people shared it that only and do need an urgent surgery okay he said okay i said that is so that means it is still but that we were thinking the dss approval will come now we will be informed he told me okay that they have this is what he's telling me is what exactly happened they asked them to bring the doctors and they will come to meet the dss um uh, director director so they can agree on everything before if there will be anything that will happen i said okay hoping i said okay that was the distance so when he said like that that one him already go he go in they they wanted to give him anesthesia they refused we said how can onion do go to this level to even go inside the theater at this particular point what is advising onion do people did people giving this message do they even advise onion do please no matter how this pain you are having it is better you do this than outside not under the nose of the dss custody we made an attempt after hearing that message because when our lawyer make that post we saw it normal it's a normal message you understand me maybe if anything coming up we will know i and the one of our brother no need to mention his name we try to call alloy so that we will hear alloy this message you people wrote so only you have already gone to because you said they are waiting for approval but only you have already gone into theater before when they said they will give him anesthesia we wanted to understand what is happening we brought in another lawyer i don't want to mention his name also because i don't want you know people may take it differently we brought in another lawyer we asked him you are the one that uh, the sonian do send this message you send like this he started we said out of anger that our brother started to tell him you people are lawyers uh, what i'm saying is exactly that our brother said you people was aware we are waiting on the social media that we are waiting for dss approval so then you have already gone he said he didn't know we said that our brother starts shouting for him tell him you people that are seeing onyendu are in a position to advise onyendu on certain things that if anything happened to onyendu that he will make sure that all of them know all these lawyers that are going to see onyendu that they, since IPOB leadership 
or are not having access, they are the one. If they see any move that is wrong, they should advise on you and do the dangers of whatever you want to do. That our brother and this lawyer start to have confrontation on telephone. He said he cannot threaten him on like this, that story. I try to calm the story down. We try to tell him we just want to be understand what is happening because this is what i told him do you know why we call you we start to tell him yesterday that ozekome was invited with barry stage for this is what is happening he said he never knew that they said they are waiting for approval he never knew that onion do have gone in for pressure case closed we said it's okay but please if you people are in a position to tell onion do what is something that is not good please you people are the eyes we are seeing you people are the ones who are seeing him face to face and understand his situation it's good you advise him that was on sunday when a jamaica could not enter the telephone so we go ahead deliver this message to this guy that was the end on tuesday that was on sixth that was on sixth we got um, uh, I was just scrolling on social media. I saw on Vanguard, doctors of Mazen and Kano arrive at the DSS facility for oppression. I said, ah, for myself, I sent it to HOD. I sent it to some members of the DOS to say, CEO, I sent it to Barrister. But Barrister did not see that. I called him after I wait for a few minutes. Thank God when I called him, he picked. I told him, Barrister, how is it that Onyendu, you told us you are waiting for doctors to go for Onyendu um, uh, for approval. You told us they said the doctors will come. Now, the doctor, you didn't inform us, Seth. So, because we have to be informed. Anything goes wrong, we are the people that we hold responsible. All of you will disappear. How can, he told me, no, that the doctors have not come. I said, Dr. Barrister, what are you saying? He told me the agree is that the doctors will come to meet Ozekome. What they agree with Onyendu, they will meet Ozekome and be, before they go inside uh, to fix a time for these things. I told him, but Bar Barrister, look at Vanguard. Look at this Vanguard news. This is a frontline news in Nigeria saying that the doctors have arrived for the or surgery. The family is saying this. Barrister said, where is it? He said, hold on. He told me, okay, Maz, let me call you back. He dropped the call. He, he said, let me call Ozekome to know if maybe the doctors went to Ozekome or what. He said he called Ozekome. After like five, he called me back. He told me, Maz, this might be propaganda. I told him, Doc, it's not propaganda. He said that he called Ozekome. Ozekome said he called the DSS to know. The DSS said no no doctor that no doctor came there is no nothing like that that the news is false the dss told the zekeme like this that the news that there is no doctor i told barista that look at the front line news he said yes he's seen it you know because you know anything like general media i small time the younger brother of mazin and the fine boy wrote something on facebook that people start circulating I now took that thing he wrote. I sent it to the barrister. You said some, oh, the DFS said no, but the brother is saying they came out from there. That the, the DSS have stopped them, turned them back for no reason, for nothing. They sent them back. It didn't take much time, few minutes. Barrister Lawyer Jimako released a letter he used and wrote to DSS about two people. I forwarded those things to other members of the US. The HOD was nervous. Everybody was nervous. What is happening? Can things be going in this way? Onion do health. Who is giving consent? Who is approving Onion do to undergo surgery under the DSS custody? Barrister said they have not come to conclusion. The doctors have not come to them. How come the doctors already go into the DSS to go to operate? And DSS is denying that they had even the younger brother of Onyendu did not write that they denied them maybe the dss have told the zekome that no no doctor came nobody came and that is a case that needs to be sorted out what is happening who is planning all this kurukere movement 
Is there a plan to eliminate Mazen Nam the Kano? I am coming to that because I'm going to go deeper on the risk, the danger that lies under this ear surgery. This is how it happened, fellow beer friends. Barrister said, okay, if it's like that, Ozekome, that they are going to meet the SS and ask them what happened. Was this what they all agree? Why things went on this way? Because of that, HOD got all this thing, HOD called, called Barrister, they bring in some people asking, what is this that is happening? We told Barrister our own stand. I told Barrister, we cannot give any consent. We will not accept. We are in a position to deliver message to Onyendu to say, do not undergo ES surgery under the DSS detention. Reasons are numerous, which I'm going to make it very clear where we stood. Everybody knew very very well when they give you an when you give a consent when these things were happening i called the wife of our leader i asked him are you people are you involved who gave consent for this ear surgery do you people know the implication he said she was not aware she was not aware he's just hearing it as she's going to so that's what she told me. She was not aware she had already in, in the theater for surgery. I told him because that is why, before the HOD, all that thing, I was mad. I wrote what I wrote, calling every one of them not to accept. Because I don't know how they are playing this. What happened in Kenya will not happen under our eyes again. Because we are not yet out from the kenya saga this kenya saga was people that were advising onyendu there were people who told onyendu gave him one paper tell him to be traveling around that he's the leader of anywhere you show them british but nobody will touch him when they catch onyendu they all disappear who those who de who deceived onyendu those who deceived him who tell him no I, you are a british citizen you're giving that full sense of security oh i gave you a paper earlier you told them you are the leader of this thing we are in a cooker world who cares we have enemies everywhere everybody who know what i'm showing knows that kenya hates our people kenyan men in east africa kenyan people Tanzania, Uganda, um, Rwanda, all this East Africa, they hate you. When they see you, both their men, their women is to destroy you. Their men, immediately they know you are evil. You are Nigerian. Few men like our people, but they hate. They see us like people they want to devour alive. There is a hate run in their hearts. And people knew Onyendu was in this kind of country. There are countries that, they, if in Africa, it would be difficult, but these are countries that have hate towards our own people. If people don't know, let them go and ask. Men know. Men, men know what I am talking. Those who have traveled, men who have seen things, know what I am saying. Now, they want to give Onyendo anesthesia. Do you people know, I am not a specialist, I am not a doctor, but I, I am informed about certain things. And I know there are doctors listening, there are medical experts listening. They will give more analysis of what I am saying. If they have the opportunity, they can go on social media and tell their friends the consequences. Especially when you give somebody anesthesia, automatically he will stop. Somebody, do you understand me? Sometimes, I didn't say everything, he can stop breathing. He stopped breathing. There are complications in this anesthesia. Everybody must know that. When, if you happen, includes, you know, the, the, the complication. To, everybody knows Nyendu is sick. 
take not only air this thing there are other things as somebody who is under detention they want to give him they want to make him air surgery complications they are used to be mental disorder from anesthesia if you take it and go into surgery they are used to be not mental mental confusion memory loss sometimes personality change can occur also do you understand me patient may also be you can be after that you'll be in a vegetative mode do you understand me on on your own and in most times the person may suffer cardiac arrest these things are what we knew and now everybody should remember consent if Mazin Nambe can give consent, do me the operation. He goes in and come out. Who are you going to blame? Which court are you going to present the case? Doctors will come and say he give a consent. If any family member is ready to sign it, is it Mazin Nambe who is in detention? We give consent and tell you, yeah, make me this operation. Is that the person you are going to allow? Because consent is, I'm giving permission for you to perform this operation. Do you understand me? This opre operation procedures on me. Taking a responsibility. If anything happened to Mazen Nandekano. Yes, I said taking responsibility. Him, taking responsibility. Who will be held responsible? Mazen, are you hearing me? Yes, yes, yes. Go on, if go on, go on. If anything happens to Mazen Nandekano, who is going to be held responsible? I want to know. Sometimes during this ear surgery, there may be damage from the nerve, nerve bleeding, nerve damage. Sometimes the nerve may block. Who will take this responsibility? The DOS? Mazin Namdekano have been released and acquitted. What the DSS is supposed to do is release Mazen Nandekano to go and take care of his health. Reasons. We are here most times, the barrister will come out and say, when we talk about drug abuse, when the prescription is given to Mazen Nandekano for 14 days, and, and that 14 days, the DSS may allow only five days or seven days. The remaining seven days, they will not allow the medicine. Is it Mazen Nandekano will undergo this surgical operation here and kept inside the cell where they will be bleeding? They may decide not to give him his medications. And when he died, already, God forbid, already have signed consent. Nobody will know. They will tell you it is from complications. It is possibility there was a cardiac arrest. It was a possibility there was a mental damage. It was a marginal capital say on our coins and that's not ear operation organ. And you we start afresh, you start talking. Oh uh, who they sell all the man the candle. Is that what we want? Yeah, first, let me make this thing clear. As we are going to open this line, if I lied, people should come here and say no. If people are listening to me in China, listening in Turkey, some of you might have heard this story in Biafra land. There is one of our brother. They call him upward. He's a millionaire. I don't know if I call millionaire or billionaire. He's one of the richest in China. Last year, the same air problem he had. He is the importer of many pampas in Nigeria and baby oil. He's a millionaire. People they knew him. They call him upward. I think the same air problem. This ear problem they are talking about to Nindu. This guy said he didn't want to do the operation in China. He flew by himself. He flew by himself to Turkey for this ear surgery. He walked into the hospital by himself. He signed the consent for ear surgery in Turkey. As he walked into that theater, he came out in body bags he came out in body bag private jet was sent to Turkey to carry his dead body back to Nigeria if people are in Turkey people are in China people know what I am saying he flew from China to Turkey 
you want the best hospital to show you there is no guarantee. It is better than in Nambekan to do this operation in a hospital. People can be around him, our people, the family can be around him, and he's sure. But you know he's in a good state of mind to go into this operation. This is how this man upward died in Turkey. They flew him private jet in body bag, bring him back to Nigeria. Air surgery. We have seen many people who have gone into this air surgery. They never come out. That is our concern. We have seen last year IPOB lost a comrade in UAE. He went home, came back, though it was not ear issue. They say he was not going to toilet for five days, six days. He was he was very sick. We told him, um, uh, some of our people, traditional medicine, they give him, he start going to toilet. He start to become okay when they said it. But he said he want to go and check himself in the hospital again because when he went the first time, they said they scanned him, they couldn't see anything. Now, when he started going to toilet, he went to UAE, and he was living in UAE. Everybody knew when we took one of our comrades back in Nigeria, they call it Joforma, Samson Joforma. He went by himself into the clean, into the hospital. The medical, they said, oh, we have seen that thing that is a... He walked by himself into the theater, a young man of 35 years, carried out operation in UAE. He came out in body bag. He came out in body bag. I mean, this is a personal issue. Douglas of a leader of over 75 million people, controversial issue, somebody under the Nigerian uh, detention, and the people are going in the back, giving advice for Oyendu. For me, I, this, I will never accept. Even people who are listening, the lawyers, I have called some lawyers, I have told them, tell Oyendu that me, Chinas Awaru, I refuse that he will undergo any oppression inside the DSS custody. I am saying it, and the men, members of the DOS I knew, I communicated with everybody, do not want Onyendu to go oppression, and we are not going to give consent for that. Let the private doctors met them. Then we see the situation. If it's something the private doctors can recommend any medication that can sustain Onyendu till he comes out, we will continue to pray for him. Nothing will happen to him. Until he's been, he will, he, they will release him. Chukwu Kikadiyama knows how to heal his people. Let the doctors, any medicine, the doctors, the private doctors will recommend Chukwu Kikadiyama will use it to heal Mazinamikam and endure till he come out from that place. We will not accept. If anything happened to him, we hold DSS responsible because they know he needs this surgery outside, but they continue to. Something may happen to him, which we are not going to accept. That is the area we want every to focus. That is the area we want every one of us to march on. Forget about stupid people that are coming to talk rubbish on social media, what they don't know about. This is an issue the leadership of IPOB have been battling before you see it public. Before you see this thing public, we have been battling on it, seriously battling on it. And also, most of you who are professionals, who are lawyers, and I ask, out of desperation, out of what people want to prove, I don't know what they prove. Is it right? It's a question I'm asking. Is it right that only a new medical report will be published to the public, somebody in the hands of the, the enemy? Somebody in the hands of the enemy. Is it right? Most of you, who knows the law? Do you know? Go to any hospital. No hospital likes to, you don't have right to publish somebody's medical report. That is why there are people that advise people. Topless of Onyendu, that is under the DSS custody, you publish his medical report in the public. Giving enemy 
possibility of this guy is having this problem he's having this problem this is what if you do like this just only do it something can happen to him you have no responsibility the ill health people hospitals has been sued because of making public medical results confidential health issues you don't make it public only when the person in his right mind he cannot because you make it public it's not going to bring any sympathy to the dss because you make it public it's not going to bring sympathy to the court before you make it public it's not going to bring anything the public cannot force the judge say because this is what no it doesn't work that way it doesn't and it is not right somebody in the dss detention for over two years it is not right to make his health report his confidential health report public whatever the person want to achieve whatever they want to achieve that is their own case but one thing i will make this thing with Biafra's all over the world like i wrote in the small note Biafra should know that the DSS cannot inflict such injury on Mazin Nandekano and they want to also conduct oppression on him. It doesn't happen. It is unethical. It has never happened that you will shoot me and you will be the one that will do the surgery on me to remove the bullet. I will stop here. Maz, uh, please, um, because I know that uh, people will also like uh, this clarification. Oh, which means the news, the vanguard news, is a propaganda, as uh, our attorney say, or did the, the, the doctors come? What is there, you know? I mean, the clarification of that place. Did the doctors really come, or is it a, a, a propaganda? Maz, Till now, from what we knew, that Ozekome, what they agreed is that the doctors will come, the DSS directorate of Lega told them when the doctors come, Ozekome, they will come with the doctor, they will sit down with the DSS doctors, medical team, in front of Onyendu, and they agree on the way forward and to conduct so themselves can change, check them. But when, number one, the medical doctors didn't come to Ozekome. When Ozekema tried to call them, they said there was no doctor that came. Nobody came. So now the legal team is trying to make an appointment to go to show the DSS, this is the publication we saw. This is what is written. This is all this is. They will meet the DSS directorate to understand even municipal of Yobawara. There were maze. There were maze. Okay. Um, now let us uh, go to the last point before opening the lines uh, still talking on the criminality in the name of IPOB, ESN and Mazin Amdekano which must be re resisted and completely eradicated in Biafra land Mazin please go on go on please Mazin um, you know criminality is something we are fighting and we are making headway we are making progress sometimes i used to tell the nigerian military the nigerian police force and all of them who carry guns chasing people killing innocent people because some of them that is how they are taught they just bring you know sometimes most of the nigerian police officers some of them are criminals convicted criminals in one way or the other they bring them out and they hand them over and a gun, recruit them in the police. It doesn't. Only in Nigeria, these things happen mass. Before you enter police, you enter all these security agencies. They will check your background. Are you a criminal? Have you been part of? Do you understand me? They run these things. But only in Nigeria that people, criminals, they will say no to stop it. Put them in the police. That's what they do with Boko Haram. Islamic military, they say, put them in the army. You, you, it doesn't work that way, man. It doesn't work. 
Many Nigerian police officers, Mopoham, or you see many of them, some are, it's some. And you know one thing is that if you bring them in, inside they start to corrupt the good police officers. That is one thing you have to know. They were criminals before. You now indoctrinate, indoctrinate them inside the police force, inside the Nigerian army. They now you have licensed them to carry gun. You send them an assignment, they stop on the way, commit one crime, they remove their uniform, commit one crime, move forward, they wear their uniform back. They put the uniform back on them. The problem is they have continually recruit criminals, put them inside police without checking background of people. And when these people come inside, they start to corrupt other officers. They start to, they wear uniform. The other day, you heard what happened uh, two few days ago, happened in Four Corner in Enugu. The kind of gun they say those Fulani men shot. These are not Fulani men. These are military officers, Boko Haram officers they brought into Enugu. They, they, they told them to kidnap, make money. When they shoot, they shoot. The exchange of fire, they away. Police, they bring some soldiers. But in that particular criminality, the, there is a two division in Enugu. The other time you see them using helicopter, chasing IPOB members anywhere they are. But look at four corner, look at 82 division. Press those their helicopter, war helicopter again. They could not pursue anybody. What they do now is that they come and station those military in the entrance of where Fulani's henchmen are operating. They are like a guard for them. And they, we are going to sort it out. Since it has come to this level, Nigerian army that kept those people, whether they are army, but for us, we term them as Fulani henchmen and Boko Haram terrorists. That is what we term them. All those ones they are using now to protect where the Fulani is, are camping where they are coming out to operate they use the military they brought now and block entrance to those places all of them are full army terrorists they, all of them are boko haram military and we are going to sort it out in enugu because this nonsense must stop Mazi, criminality is something we are fighting on a daily basis everybody have seen in anambara what have happened about the commissioner for homeland security we are talking about what is happening under his own watch in his own instead for him to step in and go and chase the criminal since he is the commissioner for homeland security for avg he did not he decided to attack a more powerful as if him and the, he started to blackmail him, powerful, he begged him money. Let him bring the evidence that he discussed for him to give him money. He refused. That's why he's blackmailing him. That Emma powerful. We ask him, we challenge him to bring evidence. He beg you money. Bring us the evidence that Emma powerful was begging you money. Emma Keba, you know the people you are communicating with. Emma Keba, I don't want to, you know the people who are coming to you and tell you that they are Emma powerful. You want us to spill the beans on the air so that they will say, Emma Keba, come and to the public and tell the people that person who is telling you that he's Emma powerful. Because we have information. There is somebody, his name is Emma to you because nobody knows Emma Powerful. Nobody is seeing him patrolling. Nobody see, and they come to you, they tell you, Emma Powerful, I am that Emma Powerful you people used to hear. And they stupidly, you say Emma Powerful come and beg you money. What happened is this, if you have any evidence, another can show it to their friends. Show them where he came to beg you money. I know in this struggle, we might not be millionaires. Even if we, we have money before, we have all lose it because of this struggle. But we still have our dignity. We still have our integrity. We are not yet hungry to beg for anything. 
Another thing is this. Instead of a but to look forward, it's a challenge. We told you this thing is in your community, in your own local government. You were eight years with Obia, no? Now you are with the new government. You cannot tell us you don't know what is happening in that place. Every time you people target on IPOD, all IPOD, make an investigation, trying to understand all this mystery, IPOD, separate IPOD, as again. A lot started to reveal. You are now telling us, FVG, let me say something here, very, very clear. Eba, Eba, your FVG is in Anambra. Only in Anambra. Your FVG. You cannot do your AVG into Imo State. You cannot do your AVG into Adia State. You cannot do your AVG into Delta State. Neither can you do your AVG into Enugu. Therefore, know that what you are talking, your press release, you are writing with AVG. Talking this thing, know that it is limited. Remember, IPO ESN is all over the Afra land. If you want to go and curtail all this crime happening, because you say you are the AVG, you have people in that area whom you recruited, over 40 people. Are they not giving you reports of what is happening in Anambra? In that local government, are they not giving you reports? The question is this. In Bakewa, full and new people are in Achala. In all those areas, attacking people and killing. What have you done? That is the question. What have you done? You say that you didn't know the Fulani, you didn't get them, but are you aware that Fulani is in your local government? Occupied areas, killing and adopting people, that particular part, in Aoka, that is the, where you will find them. When they pursue them everywhere, that is where they have their safe haven. Are you aware of this or you are not aware? Eba Keba. We have volumes of reports against your role, your what you do in Anambra. And we are waiting you, because we are waiting for you. We are not the only ones saying these things. People are making reports. And we are making, if people who care to know, we show them the report. We are talking about evidence. People. Who confess? Who knows what the people they kidnapped in those places? The discussions happening in that places. We have it. We don't know you, Eba Keba. We don't have any relationship with you. We are not friends. We don't know who you are. But the problem in the course of investigation, we found out what is happening. We want the Afra land to be free from these criminals. We want the Afra land irrespective that you people are calling our names on a daily basis we did not say oh because you call us we know that's why anything people say we know because we are trying to keep our place in order criminals will not like it those who are benefiting those who are carrying the cars of our people, our people will suffer, come from Lagos, you snatch their cars, cut their cars, load in container, come out to Navy and sell, and tell them your container has come from Japan, my brother. Tell them your container just come from America, my brother. Is that the way you do to your people? And the young people are aware of all these things. And you, Nanaga, Hone, Nabo, Lexus. They don't see anybody driving Lexus, Toyota Hilux. No, the Sienna, Toyota Sienna. They don't see it. Camry. They don't see it. They catch, they caught, you load. I have a battle in Japan. I have a battle from uh, America. I have a battle from Germany. Dude, that is the cars for your brothers. People, you snatch their cars. You cut brand new cars. Cut the cars. Come and sell it out. And you want IPOB to keep silent? We will not keep silent. In as much as we know criminals are operating in our land, 
We win because all of you are using the name when they caught you or when you do it, you say, oh, it's IPOB people. You say, no, it is not IPOB people. We did not come this far from criminality. IPOB came far from the little, little contributions being given around the world. We have no sponsor. Like they are claiming MFA, we have no sponsor, nobody sponsor. In what we have been able to contribute is what is keep us moving. Since last year, you people blocked the uh, uh, the, the um, uh, IPOB worldwide account. You thought by now IPOB is gone? You thought by now IPOB is gone? This job is, is ordained from heaven. It's ordained. Because if it is money, we will not be where we are. We are here today because of dedication. Because we are called. And we are still in millions. It is not about money. We don't run, yes, we need money to run IPOB, but we run IPOB more on ideology and volunteers. And when you run any movement in this pattern, I can tell you, we can sustain this struggle for the next 100 years. The thing is this, that's why they're looking most of us to make sure they kill us, they do all these things, they, how can they be able to destroy us? Because sooner or later, we are going to be the elders of Biafra land. It is going to come. Sooner or later, we are going to be those elders of course people will die now you, you who is going to live forever nobody Iwanyang will die Ojuzo Kalo will die most of these people will die that the time reach they will die any of us but we are happy that we have millions integrated with the Biafra ideology the radical one and the, by the grace of Chukwa Biyama, most of us if we don't get Biafra today or tomorrow we continue fighting till some of us be, when you look look out in Biafra land what you will see is all Biafra radicals ideology you will see everybody scattered that time we will groom the worst people who will be radical more than us to make sure Biafra is restored that is our tactics that is our game so the earlier you are set. We know you people, Nigerian government is fighting us. You scribed it. But we have waved them for two years. We have defeated them. All the military wiki did. The one, and let me say it very clear. For the fact you went out of power does not mean we have forgotten you. I don't know. I feel before I don't know. I don't know. That is where we will. It's people will run, people will do this thing. What we are saying, IPOB, we can you are out from power. Therefore, you are out from governorship. All of you who have participated in killing our people, one day, 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 one go, we go, we one day, we go, we walk up, we jam you people. That is life. The one we cannot do today, we can do it in the next one year. We don't forget, and we will not forgive. Criminality is what you people have brought into this, during this period, these two years. You use it, kill our people. You sponsor people. Is, is it not clear for our people to understand what is happening? You saw what they did with Labour Party, when they go and bring that man, our Papa, to come and hijack the Labour Party. Everybody, you saw it? You saw what they did. The same thing they did in IPOD. They brought people. Take it. Take it. But I'm sorry to say this. If somebody told me, but one thing is that sometimes I, I said, whatever we see from anybody, it is expected Chukwadiyama have made it to be so, so that he can train us. We can learn how to maneuver. We can learn how to defeat those type of enemy, so that when we will tell the story of Biafra, the story will be complete. 
if we do not have challenges internal if we do not have challenges from those we think they are with us if we do not have challenges even from the family of our leaders then what are we here for the journey will not be complete everything they are doing is the fulfillment that at the end of this movement that Biafra will be restored we know why we continue to say there will be no room for criminality in Biafra land criminals have been there and we are fighting day and night two ways we are educating our people go and do work leave criminality especially criminality that they are telling you come Biano, Biano, Bush they pay Biano, we do it I don't I, I tell them say now nah, IPOB you be that's why people come out you ask him somebody tell you you see people they are parading somebody will tell you they ask him when did you join IPO and um, ESN he said they joined in 2001 my brother was anybody joining IPOB in 2001 anybody who recruited you some say they brought them they naked them they said from today you are IPOB is that the way it is being done IPOB members is that the way you are being taken into oaths in the office because i saw a video where somebody is saying they call them they tell them everybody naked IPOB members around the afra land around the world have you taken an oath where they ask you to go naked drop your clothes they tell you to drop your clothes be naked and they you swear is that the way IPOB take their oath our oath is very simple nobody asks you to go naked nobody asks you to remove your clothes nobody gives you those kind of oath in IPOB and that shows you all those people that are talking those rubbish are not IPOB they are not ESL they are not part of what we are doing these are people recruited just to come and cause call a dog give a dog a bad name they came to come to destroy they use money law many of them tell them I name I hear the Afra we don't worry we are masters in this fight go and write it somewhere the end of the day because we are choosing IPOB we are choosing people when Ucheme 4 came out when Ucheme 4 started his uh, gara gara when they started he start push 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 they form they go Dr. Kado Obido Dienu Asari Dokubo and many of them they went and formed a de facto Biafra de facto government today they have divided into three Obido Dienu is now the de facto president Asari Dokubo have returned to the creek he have gone back to the pipeline for contract. Which I for have formed his own now. He said, "Now you know indigenous na tono hago go. I have indigenous. I cook a hapo choco. Which when again has some. That indigenous na toya. He now have formed his own indigenous Igbo nation. But it's the same which I for who criticize Mazen Nam the Kano for not including in the Igbo the Mbamiri." that he said the leadership is only for for uh, uh, people from the uh, hinterland nobody they didn't put people from the regional into the leadership people in the regional was with them. but himself now from his own group he call it indigenous Igbo nation movement this is now the one so he have excluded them by many people the people he was agitating you see how hypocrites do their own things and I want to say something, dear friends. The criminality going on in our land is not only these people carrying gun. But when the line will open, I will use that opportunity to touch some point. I will educate you people why people from the River Rai area are more of pipeline contractors. Just when the line will open for this thing, and one, I will tell you why you hear they are guiding pipeline because the oil majority of the oil is not in their place the majority of the oil is in the hinterland and the pipe is crossing their own communities that is why they are more of pipeline contractors not the owners of the oil i will stop here when you open the line so that thank you very much and uh, without taking any time we shall go into few minutes break so that when we come back 
our lines we open so that people will start calling because there are, we are some people that started calling before and try to disrupt the flow but we will go into a few minutes break and come back and open the lines please do not go away we shall be right back well, we, have the, we have the calculations of the economy. Why, why, what can he do? He must now. He must. He wouldn't do just that. He must. He knows that we can do it. He must deal, deal with us. So that was why the Yoruba said no. Whatever it is. So, but what I assure you, let me keep on praying for uh, President Kebwa. Yeah, I, oh God, we have learned our lesson. We have been in, in our area here now. They be praying for him. We have, we have, we have learned our lesson. Kule. We, we pray for the and, and, and even our government no. to, to tell you the truth the yes. north, the northern people when we stand yes. in the presidency honestly yes. the trust at least of the south is finished and I assure you too in your yes. land yes. listen to me, yes. I am coming yes. I am yes. coming yes. I am coming please yes. listen to me, not that they yes. have behaved yes. yes. themselves gentlemen please we don't need anybody in this country, they help themselves. Let me ask you a question, sir. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Between cars, yeah. industries, and human beings, who are more in number? And the not that now. Ah, not, not number, not, I'm talk, not talking of population. I'm talking of economy now. I'm okay. talking of okay. cars, car, car, the motors that we drive. Yes. And industries that we have. Yes. If you put them on one part and you put human beings on the other part, who are more in number? Nah. <laughs> cars are more. <laughs> Car, cars are more than human beings. Human beings, human beings, human beings. Human beings. Good. Two, if you put fuel and food by the side, which one is consumed more? Ah, in food now. Good. And we have food. So yeah. people are actually helping themselves. Let me tell you, even in Yorubala, let me tell you what they will do to you. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. Obama of Lagos said that? We are pushing them to the ocean. Most of these markets that are burning in Lagos, look at it, they are evil-dominated markets. You yeah. get me? They, 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 they are, they, in fact, some Yoruba were telling me when I was in Lagos last weekend that it is we, the Northerners, when we are in charge of Lagos as federal capital, that open room for evil to come and dominate them. And it's over mm -hmm. now. And it's over. <laughs> All the businesses evil are doing, we are going to bring it and do it. <laughs> you get me? Fashion lab, for, fashion lab for the past for the past five years have refused uh. to approve any industry, especially pharmaceutical, to evil people. Find out. Yeah, um, you are right. I get you. Are right. Do you get me? Right. So the Yoruba in these four years, that's what we are telling us. If we in the north want to be useless again, let us be. But the Yoruba people in the four years they want to control their land completely. That's why Buhari have to sign that Lagos is going to be given special status. Mm. We are going to have a kind of semi-regional system. Lagos is going to have special status. It means nobody again will control Lagos. The indigenous of Lagos are the ones that are going to control Lagos. They can form mm. land policies. Do you get me? They may decide to say, you as a Yoruba man in Lagos, you will pay 5,000 Naira per annum for a land. As mm. Me as a mm. house yeah. man, I will pay 10,000 Naira. Even man will pay 1 million Naira. <laughs> this is why they are hitting for. Do you get me? So the, uh, now, unfortunately, again, the attitude of the Igbos have made the illiterate northerners who have not gone to school to realize now. I say they are powerful. They are the one who give these people land to stay. They are the one who give them food by the power of God. Yes. They are the one who accommodated yes. them by the power of God. Do you get me? Yes. Since yes. Igbos can turn around and humiliate us, look at what they did to us. They, those people that they assemble about 400 of them and call them Boko Haram. Do you understand? Mm. Do you know that they yes. keep them one by one? They were not moving in convoy. They made some of them to drink their urine. Mm -hmm. One also have to come and meet the president and tell him that, look, if one person is killed among these people, I'm telling you, no Igbo man will come out of Kano. Mm. That was how they released the Hausa people from Jigawa and Kano, whom they selected and arrested and called them Boko Haram. Two, you are in Nigeria, I'm in Nigeria. Rochester was yes. actually brought up in the north, but yes. it is in his own state. That's why we are telling you, even the Amechi, the Rochester, the that are MPs, we don't trust them. They are on their own. Let me tell you this. 
They are on their own. Nobody can deceive us again. We are wise they are now. Business men, uh, they are business men. No, what, I, what I'm telling you, like what I'm telling you is that Rochas was in. He is running to Sultan. He didn't know Sultan has no significance in this government. Even last two days he was in Sokoto. He didn't know that even Sultan has no significance in this, in this government. He, he, he was in this north. It was Rochas state. He must state that they started saying that Hausa people must have yes. ID card to live in that state. Yes. Can you hear me? They say Hausa yes. people must have ID card to live in state. Yes. Until when we mobilize our people there and say, okay, in that case, all thousands must live north. Then Jonathan now realized that there was something going on. He said, no, these things have to stop. So are we mad? You get me? Count every yes, five shops in this in this north. Six, four shops are owned by Ibos. What what is Ibo's contribution in the economy? It's not trade and fraudulent trade for that matter, including if Ibo have cheated you. Unless if you are not buying spare tire, spare parts and tires and medicine. So or not so? It's so allergy. Do you get me? Yet we accommodated them. Is it going to Dubai to buy to bring tech drugs that we don't we cannot do it? Now the plan is Drugs now, no Ibo man will again sell drugs in business. We are going to bring it from Atkano. Drugs are brought by air. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Lemens Mars, Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra Land. I am here live and direct with Mars Chinedu Samuri, member of the in, uh, Directorate of States of the Indigenous People of Biafra. We are on an interactive session and do not forget that today is the 11th day of June 2023. Therefore, our lines are now open and you continue hearing our voice through our FM in many parts of Biafra Land or most parts of Biafra Land. One CHK 102.1. We are on satellite. We are also on IPOB community radio. The application is low data consuming. Also on Facebook and other social media platforms. Just ask how do I listen to Radio Biafra London? You can hear us for there is Radio Biafra House of Service page on Facebook. IPOB Rapture Media, Biafra Television, Biafra TV, Biafra Digest, and all what not. There are many. So you can be hearing our voice because this gospel must be preached. Our lines are now opened and our direct line, the lines are already positive. I must be honest with you. Our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat. Plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat, plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. Please, I beg, I urge each and every one of you that are calling. Once you call, please let it be a maximum of four minutes let your question or contribution be the maximum of four minutes let me go to direct line first caller on direct line can you hear me welcome to the program you are the first caller can you hear me call on direct line please go on your question or contribution in not more than four minutes please go on Hello? Hello? Marzi, go on, please. Go, go. Once I pick your number as a direct caller, I mean from direct line, stop shouting hello. Go on, because I cannot keep you waiting. You are paid. Go on, please. Okay, Marzi. Hello? I've been very happy with what is going on. Yeah, I can hear you. Mars, it seems you are listening to yourself through the device. I mean, you are radio or listening device. I don't know. Why are you breaking? You are the first caller. Radio? Yeah, we don't do sir. I'm hearing you, sir. We don't do 
Okay. Because now I see. I don't know. I don't know what is happening. Our brother okay, is Okay, let me cover, let me cover. Uh, caller on direct line, can you hear me? Go on, please. I want to start with direct line callers. Caller on direct line, please. Welcome to the program. Go on to your questions or submissions in less than four minutes, please. Good evening, sir. There were Marzi, go on. Uh, I have I've been following the program since uh, you started. Uh, what Marzi Tim has said, my name is uh, Chidera, calling from Lagos. What Marzi Tim has said concerning Marzi, I totally agree with him. I totally agree with him. Because somebody cannot shoot you, God. Not as a baby. He can go on the apart of the book. But they are possible. They are the enemy. So please, we should, we should play with care. Mas a bola não é de um a bola não controle over 70 million people. Nico, eu vou lá na a bola não. Ah, a bola que me é melhor do que. Não é tipo mais uma bola. Não é de mim. Não é você a como põe ele. Ele não estuda que você é minha. Dá-lhe o dinheiro. Na particular week a o a o a o a o a o a o a o a o a o a o I am not a to make a man Therefore, I go, I go, I go do that. The land of Judah was beside him. He was sitting on the chair. The land of Judah was was on his side. Anybody that tried to do him anyhow, that lion will stand up and devour. That thing happened two consecutive times. And so, then I told my wife that mighty hand is upon Mazi. No evil plan against him shall shall work. So Mazi, keep it up. What the people are doing is very nice. There war. And the Lord bless you. There Thank war. You. There war. Caller on direct line, please go on without mincing words. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? No, it seems I picked it, but I don't know. I didn't know what happened. Honestly. Caller on WhatsApp, welcome to the program. Please go on. You have maximum four minutes. Maximum. There were no reggae. Um, I must uh, comment. I must commend uh, our brother China Sanguru. I must commend him because uh, his wisdom that was speaking in that place. And these people, they come with a long strategy because if you take somebody to hospital for, for, for surgery and the person on the process died, they will be just, it will be justifiable. The person, they will say that uh, it is uh, maybe, the person did not make itself. So that one is comprehensible. But that question you threw, nobody can answer that question. Somebody cannot uh, purposely shoot you bullets and say you want to go and remove the bullet for you. It's not possible. Your enemy cannot do that for you. So all of us should focus our strength on that. We will never allow it to happen. We will never allow a, D a DSS to carry out the operation by themselves. If they want the, 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 the good of the man, let them liberate him and even send the supervisor to follow him around and treat himself. If they want to continue with him, let them continue. But let them not treat him for all. Because it is a mistake that must not be done. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, then we pass. Yeah, well, my... Corner on direct line. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Also, people should also know that the, the, the signal line is open. Please. Caller on direct line, welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Caller on direct line, please go on. Caller on direct line, can you hear me? Please go on, go on, go on. Hello? Yes, Ma, say, call on direct line. Go on, go on, go on. My goodness me. Caller on direct line, you are on A. Go on. Go on. Once I say go on, you hear my voice. No need of asking questions. Are you hearing me? Go on, I say. Please, go on. Okay, Marzi. Thank you for picking my call. Good morning, dear friends. Good afternoon, dear friends. Good night, whatever time zone are day. My name is Jude Okafo. 
Dudu Kafo is from Agbo. Agbo is in Anioma. Anioma is in Biafra, and Anioma people are Igbo people 100%. Mazi, China, Sanwuru, I so much thank you for the wonderful work you are doing. Every time you come on Radio Biafra, you always speak the truth. And that is why our leader wants to say that IPOB are whiter as snow. You've mentioned and you said a lot of things that we don't even know on Radio Biafra today. First of all, the release of Mazinam the Kanu and Street of America reports on social media. Here in America, if you say that you go to jail, it's called HIPAA law. It's a federal law. Without the consent of any individual, you cannot release anybody medical report on social network or tell anybody. But a Jumako did that. It's against federal law. We call it HIPAA law. Everybody that lives in this United States of America know what I'm talking about. And secondly, Judo Kafo will never join the people that are telling our leader to do the surgery in that zoo called Nigeria. Where the doctors are not professionals. I think our leader should be released. The court already discharged and acquitted our leader and set him free. They should set our leader free to come to here in the U.S. or any part of the world that is he knows that they can treat him. Or he knows that that surgery will go perfectly without no problem because we don't want anything to happen to our leader. Not in the zoo, not in other DSS with our leader have a, a surgery. I so much appreciate you. I so much thank you. I so much love you people, DOS. That is why I continue to stand behind you people. That is why I continue to stand behind IPOB. Because it's Yoku Bundo. Thank you, Marzi. May you go there, my condito. Bless DOS. Bless our leader, Marzi Nandekano. Our leader must come out alive to continue this struggle. And all of us will live long to see the Afra in our time. In the name of Chuko Kike Abdemas, name I pray. He okay. said, He said, He said, Thank say, you, Mazi. There were, there were Mazi. Caller on WhatsApp, welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Go on, please. Yes, I can. I can hear you, Mazi. Mazi, good evening. There were, good reggae. Yeah, this is Mazi Onovo. I'm calling from Mozambique. Mazi, uh, I want to first of all thank uh, Mazi Chinasamoru and also you yourself. You people are doing a very marvelous uh, job. Uh, my own contribution this night is this. We have to know that DSS and the Nigerian government, they have looked for avenue to kill Mazi Nandekanu and seal it up or for us not to put the blame on them they have not seen and that is why they have devised this very means because they want us to give consent for that surgery and through that surgery they will came out and they can so we cannot give consent to such surgery because they are only looking for an opportunity once we give that if anything happens to him you will not hold them responsible. So we, dear friends, we reject it entirely. Just like Mazi Chinas and Moro said, we are going to manage that condition. Chukwo Kikabiyama will protect our leader. Nothing will happen to him. Whatever the, the medical practitioners can do in order to manage the situation, let them do it by giving medications until Mazi Namdekano is released. I believe Chukwu Kabiyama will make him to be released in no distant time. This is my contribution. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, Mazi, hey, Biafra. Thank you very much, Mazi. 
short and simple. Caller on uh, mean direct line. Can you hear me? Call on direct line. Please go on. Caller on direct line. Please, can you go on? Start. Stop listening to your uh, listening device or your radio. Caller on direct line. Calling from France, I I, I presume. Yeah, yes, there Go on, please. Go on directly, please. Go on. Yeah, then, Mr. Jonathan, thank you for the good work you people are doing, and also Mr. Jonathan Waru, thank you very much for your intervention concerning the the health of our leader, as mainly I am concerned with. And also the insecurity going on in the uh, in southeast. The point of the matter is this: allowing our leader or allowing anybody to go and encourage our leader to undergo treatment or surgery in DSS uh, dungeon is absolutely madness as far as I'm concerned. Stupidity because if somebody that shot you a gun that shot a bullet to you cannot be the one to remove the bullet. According to China Samhuru, then you allow the person to kill you because he shot you to kill. The way he didn't kill you, call him to, you know, to remove the bullet, then you're given the license to finish you up. So we know the condition of the zoo called Nigeria. Their medical system, how stupid and we are completely backward they are. We can never allow a leader to undergo treatment there. Then another thing I want to bring to the notice of the um, um, DOS, mainly China and War is concerning the insecurity and criminality going on in the Southeast. I just came back from Zoological Republic two days ago. I met a lot of people on ground and um, I know exactly what they told me. A lot of people, we believe they are with us. Some of them have already fallen astray in the sense because of the financial situation or whatever. Some have joined AVG. I know that they've joined AVG in the sense that they are protecting our interests. But I've joined AVG and now somehow they are fighting against us. Claiming publicly that they are still with us, but men that I met told me a lot of things, which not everything I will reveal on air. One thing I think is better, I, Jonathan, I've sent you a message many occasions that I want us to have one-on-one -on -one discussion privately, because it's not everything I'll start talking on air. But there are things going on that, especially China and Moro have to be aware of that. Anambra precisely, may we add this precisely, he really needs to know what is going on on ground. Some people cry and told me a lot of things that I will not expose on air. But um, it will be a discussion of the air. I have to make it clear to you, Jonathan, it's okay. not a discussion I will discuss here. I came back two days ago, I know what I saw, I know what people told me. I spent two months there, let me make it clear, I spent two months. So we have to talk that one off air. Keep my number, we talk privately. But the issue of our leader is like a lead line. Nobody should even go there. Our leader needs to leave the DSS dungeon before operation. Thank you, Mazichina Samuru, for the good work you're doing. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you, Mazi Jonathan, for the good work you're doing. I'm grateful and I'm happy that your people are still keeping the fire burning. Yes, Mr. Hairbuster from Paris. Thank you very much. There were, there were, Mazi. There were. I will try to keep your number. If possible, you can also inbox me if it's better. Caller on signal. Welcome to the program. You have been there since six minutes. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Please go. Mazi, 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 good evening. I'm going to go again. I would like to come myself so I can, you know, follow the my. Uh, um, I said this um, health issue. I want to talk about. If I go to other issues, I am directing it towards uh, the DSS and uh, the Nigerian government with their fraudulent uh, president. 
and uh, Ejimako also. So, I finish. Then I will. I will. I will go together. Okay? Yes. 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 I don't yes. forget. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No, so, um, Ejimako said is the family lawyer. Is the is not the kind of not part of the family that he's working for. That is making all of this arrangement, and there was no way to reach um, his uh, wife. And um, the DSS and the uh, agents and the rest of them that they are working with. Is Mazin Nandi Khan or not the leader of IPOP? Don't we have the DOS? Don't we have the IPOP body and the, the, the IPOB members? Don't we have the legal team that they normally see in those places? Don't we even have the family? They do not in touch, uh, get in touch with all of this. They were ma as in manipulating themselves. I guess we already know who they are. Uh, secondly, um, all Jews of Carlo and their Nigerian politicians, all this people are irredeemable. I don't think we should have time for them because if you watch from how they, speak, they are talking, you see that these people, they will still go back to the same shit and uh, everything that, uh, that, they, that they know of. They cannot do any other thing if it's not sabotage and think of a better position for themselves individually. Then another aspect which I want us to, to look, really look at, especially every IPB member and every Biafran, is the area of um, our, our security. It's not been left for only ESN. We, the individuals, have so many roles to play. And I think the, the DOS, DOS and the, our radio presenters should come up with means and ways, like advising our people on what to do. Because our people are so, you know, I just don't know, we are so docile. There should be means which we will be able to advise ourselves, talk to ourselves, so we can have tactics, means which the people will be involved in securing themselves, especially against the Nigerian security. Like if you go to Anambra, you'll find out that there are, there are so many criminals set up. These people that they, that they just set up, they are very quiet. They are not doing anything. Even in a remote area that we can't even... And, and uh, you can't even think of they are there and all those villagers and all those uh, communities they know these people and they cannot talk like if you go to Imo State there are communities that is com contributing money for criminals and all of this money that they are contributing individuals both the people that is in abroad both people that is in Lagos they are contributing this money to pay to a criminal that they know that is one of them that have, been, that have worked with the uh, 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 DSS, worked with all of these infiltrators, and worked with other criminal gangs. That they say that they want to leave the place, or they, if they don't do it, they will burn their houses. And you see, this will contribute big amount of money, millions that runs to twenty to thirty million, and give to an individual because he has been terrorizing everybody. And all of these things, I think we should educate our people for them to know how. And the DSS, the, the DSS. The Nigerian government and their security knows about all of these things. This thing I'm telling you is very, very important. I don't know, but I know about Imo State and Anambra because I, I, those are the places which I normally, uh, as in, travel. You will come to a community, you see, criminal like 10, 8. They are not from that very place. Most of them are born. I've even sent this uh, information in order and uh, listen. Most of them from a born. Very strange people. And they will just lie low there. This, what are they there for? To show you that the Nigerian government have plans. These are plans, things that they will later, you know, activate in the future. So I believe we will do that. Yeah, we will do something. Then the DOS, I, be, I, I, I want to, I want to Man, tell them that this round up that we because your four minutes please, is over. Please. Round up, round I'm up. Sorry, Many please. people are I coming. Know. Round up. The DOS should not take as a slip because we are not dealing with a, 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 a as in a reasonable purpose. This are Aburu. There should be means which we we, 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 we should be. At least, moreover, presently, Mazin Nandikan is not answerable to anything. There is no legal means which is keeping Mazin Nandikan. So there is no way it should undergo any. And let me just cut because there are other people waiting, please. Thank you, sir. There was. There was. Mazi. There was. Mazi Chinasa, you said he wanted to say something. Yeah, Mazi, I wanted to. That's our brother that spoke, the one that said he came to Biafra land. Yes, um, yes. My brother, let me say something. Let me also open the eyes of some of our people. You know, when I spoke about 
that when Mazen Nandekan was renditioned, there are certain people very close to Mazen Nandekan who persuaded so much for us to hand over the ESN to the government. And I refuse it. When I did that, they went ahead convincing people. There are people they were convincing that we sold Mazen Namdekano, that they should join the government, that the government, you understand me, that's the only way they can be able that we have, uh, we have taken the money. Uh, they, some say that uh, we, it, you know, now when people were writing on Facebook that China Samoru took one million dollar, him and Chike, those, I don't know if IPOB have one million dollar, I mean seven hundred thousand dollar. They continue carrying this blackmail everywhere. Everywhere the blackmail was going on. At the end of the day, that was when they start to convince people, especially in Inewi, this area you are talking. There are coordinators that were expelled in this area. This Inewi, this our brother is talking, is the same places. Some of them went to kill Ram so that they gave one year they went to Aguleri or beware I be, uh, um, uh, to kill Ram against the leadership of IPOB that was where they went his people some of them are from that Navy some coordinators from that area they were part of the people they went to kill and some from Ihiala also they went to check all the, them all these boys they call uh, 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 what's his name um, um, I forgot some of them but they were all from that axis that let the leadership die, that they gave up one year before one year all of us will die. And after one year, we didn't die. Some of them, they said, go and do it again. Some of them start running Helter Skelter. It is from this axis. Some of them that time were convinced to go and join. Some of them, one of them was even, they were having their own group. They were using collecting money, build up their. You know our people, criminality is. You understand me? They love it sometimes. Some of them. That is how they build. Some of them now go and join. There were people they were able to deceive to leave IPOB and ESN and go and join the AVG. That's number one. Number two. There are people expelled from IPOB. When Mazin Nandekano was renditioned, when the sit at home issue came in, when we said the sit at home has been abolished, the enemies, the infiltrators used that opportunity also and told them that the leadership have sold the struggle. They have done this, they have done that. They, some of them were, some who were already have a criminal mind some of them already ran away they go to now operate that oh the leadership have so much let us make our own money they go out and form their own gang many of them we expel them on the um, uh, we expel them from from ipob most of them most of you have forgotten you forgot there was a time i came on radio biafra that led to this guy, uh, um, one of our brother in Germany, to call me for an interview. When I mentioned about one Kenneth, you understand me? When I mentioned about one Kenneth who sent people from Germany, he was the one championing it with the infiltrator in Europe. They came up with a, a propaganda that our leader will not come out, he will not be normal again. We need to be connecting buttons. For example, this oppression that they are pushing on Yendu, people want him to go and sign, that will lead to memory loss, brain damage, hallucinating, you understanding me? These are the things they have already forecasted because that is what they have planned. That Mazen Nandekano will not come out there normal again. He will not come out in his right senses. He will never know anything again. That was what this Kennedy, I think I say have, I have, the, I said that conversation when he sent somebody from, uh, from Germany. He told them he was coming. He came and ran on social media. Today, where is he? They came, 
They came and talk about how Ngige, how Ngige will uh, bring ambulance, bring these things. That was all the promise they had. That no, everybody take Biafra something and throw it away. Have everybody forgotten? That was how they came in. In Anambara, it happened in Anambara seriously. And that is how some of them fall out. Go and join, say, if uh, IPO, they have sold Mazen and the can, those ones have moved on. They go and join the AV. Then uh, some of them also are people expelled from IPOB. They were IPOB members before. So they were looking at kind of revenge. They, they, they were expelled. You remember people, all these, uh, many of them. I don't no need to make them, uh, you know, for people to remember them again because they were all expelled from IPOB. Because they were expelled from IPOB, they are looking for where to hide. Security. They go and join the AVG. That was why I talk about Nigerian security recruiting criminals. Some were doing bad things. There was a time we brought it on social media when IPOB ESN went and they arrested some 30 criminals that were using one day seat at home. We caught one coordinator, an IPOB coordinator. It's in that towards that in the we side who followed some people. We, we exposed him on social media and he was expelled from IPOD. Some of these people, that is what you see. That is the people you see that joined the AVG. They are now using them to terrorize IPOD members. Some of them are criminals. They run away. They are not in AVG. They are not in it. But anytime you catch them, they will tell you, uh, we are IPOB, we are ESF because they know and when they catch them, they will try to implicate maybe the officer or the commander who have expelled them from IPOB. They want to implicate that person because they feel they set him up. You know, for example, when you chase them away from IPOB, some of them will say, okay, no problem, I will show you. When he's carried out, I will show you. Anytime he had problem, he believes you are the one who caused the problem for him. So the thing he will do, he will remember you, he will tell them your home. He will say you are part of them because he knows he's not coming back. He wants to destroy everywhere. Anything he knew about IPOB, they will talk. Any enemy they have in IPOB, they will call their names. Because in their mind, they said, oh, these people, they have, they set me up. But like they went for criminal activity. They went for kidnapping. They went for car snatching. They went for, for, for taking ransom. When they catch them, they say that time, it is IPOB member. In the axis where they are living, they now start to terrorize and use the police and the AVG. Some of them will say, no, I will work with you. If you allow me, if you don't kill me, I work with you. I will show you where all IPOB members are living, where they make meeting. That is what they do. That is what they do on ground. It's happened in Anambara so much, but not Anambara all, but Anambara South. It's in there, we hear like, all these places that have border with Timo State. It is very rampant in those areas. That is the case. It's a very, and we know that Chukwu Kabiyama, the power of Chukwu Kabiyama, most of this problem will be solved. It is criminality that were born in people, people who are criminals, who join the IPOB when we have not started this struggle in, 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 a, in a, when the ESA have not started carrying arms to defend the land. That is one of the problems. But I hope we are getting there because criminals are not going to be condoned in Biafra land. It is a matter of time. All of them will be brought to book or all of them will meet their water loop. There were, there were. Oh, I have colors that are there, but let me try to pick a color on direct line. Yes, color on direct line. Can you hear me? Color on direct line. Welcome to the program. Please go straight to your question or contribution in less than four minutes. Please go on. There were, Mazi. There were. There were. I'm a lady, though. Good evening, Mr. Good evening, Mr. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, very much, uh, 
write about the to take, talk about the side effect of anatasia you are very very much correct and i just want to ask anybody that organized that surgery the zoo who is going to take a care of Mazin Nanekanu when they have finished that surgery? Who is going to take care of Mazin Nanekanu when he's in a mess, when he doesn't know what is going around him after the surgery? So, please, I'm telling DOS, please, as a matter of urgency, this is not a time for any, like, to, to, to just talk about maybe uh, 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 if your family of Martin and the can is this. If this is a time to stop people, the OS should act fast. Because in as much as these people should go this far of organizing surgery without considering the number of people uh, that this thing will affect. Because if we wake up tomorrow, just like as we wake up one day, and they said the Mazen Nandekan is being kidnapped. Many people suffered high blood pressure, and many people, something or the other happened to them. And these people did not see that, or even put forth to, to Mark, Mark, uh, Mike Ozokome, which is the lead counsel of whatever that is going on. The case of Mazen Nandekan, to put things into consideration of look at the suggestion of what is what we are about to do and they want to just eliminate Martin and they can just like this as a matter of urgency DOS should they stop to any family of Martin and they can from still Martin and they can because Martin and they can is not only Martin and they can for the family of Kano's family because many people that are dying is not because of Kano's family people are dying because of Biafra and people did are did this hurting because of Biafra and Mazen Nandekan. It's not because of Kano's family. This time, the DOS should act fast before I call. And I thank God that I was being picked because this, this project has, been, has happened. Just as you said, we will just wake up morning, one morning, just as I was at work, and they called me. This true that Martin Nandekan is being arrested. We just woke up and they said, Martin Nandekan is dead. What is going to happen to us? What is going to happen to millions of uh, of, 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 of Biafran? As a matter of agency, anybody that put his hand, if a large Macau put his hand in this thing, this time is a time to stop him. Even if he's a lawyer to Martin Nandekano's family. Because the wife of Martin Nandekano is not aware of this. He's not aware of this. Just like as you said, how on earth Somebody that is very educated, we put up a whatever a, 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 a history, medical history of a patient on the social media. It's not done anywhere. You can't do it. Data protection is against the rules of data protection. Where I'm living, it's against that. That the uh, Judge Okafor said, it's against. What the, uh, that the name you call it in US here, yeah, data protection is against it. You can't do it. You can't do it. So, thank you very much. I am what? just calling on DOS. Please, I know you people want to do a lot of investigation before you do something. As a matter of urgency, we need to know who that I see Martin and the Colonel. Because when something starts happening, it doesn't happen to only Martin and the Kano family. It happened to millions of Biafran. So we have to put all these people into consideration. As a matter of fact, we have to know people that are visiting Martin and the administration should be there. So that if anything happens, we are going to hold. Because what we know is that Martin and the Kano is in DSS custody. Uh, so if anything happens, we are going to hold Martin and the Kano responsible. You can't say that Martin and the Kano signed his oppression and you said that you do it without the consideration of uh, the people in authority which is DOS they we can't tolerate it they and this is a time for also coming to us and put a stop to any nonsense in DSS and hold them any uh, uh, hold them responsible irrespective of whether it's coming from any members of the family don't care the family that is putting it up that is not the family it's only, uh, not only for the kind of family there were there were please round up round up you have surpassed your time you are thank you for every everything you are doing may god bless all of you and god bless your friends
Thank you very much and good night. There were, there were. Thank you very much. Well, Master, can I say something? Yes, okay, Master, go on. There are something? people that have been waiting. Eh? Go on, please. Yeah, Mazi, um, uh, uh, thank you, our sister that just spoke now. You know, there is something that happened why the leadership is very, very careful. Careful in all ramifications. You know the rendition, the adoption of Mazin Nandekano in Kenya. It is something, and he survived. It's something everybody must be grateful. He survived because of the way IPOB fought. The pressure IPOB mounted around the world. I will tell you people something. When they, when they adopted the Turkish leader, the Kuts, Kuts, the Kuts people in Kurdish, Kurdish leader in Kenya. Abdullah Ocalan. See, today, thank you. Nobody sees him. Disappeared. Even though they say he's in the jail. But when the, the Pakistani journalist, activist, that was opposing the government in Pakistan, who, re, who ran to Kenya as a refuge, he was murdered in Kenya. They say it was accidental discharge. A, 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 a well-known Pakistani, he ran away, he escaped from Pakistan to Kenya, and he was killed. Because there are people who were even available to tell the story of how those things happened. There is, I and one of our brother today, we had a meeting with um, uh, one of the international activists from South Sudan. This guy was together with Maurice Mabel back. He is one of the top opposition, activist opposition in South Sudan. He was also kidnapped in Kenya. They would have kidnapped him with this guy. But this guy escaped the kidnapping. That is why he is even there to tell the story of how Morris was adopted in Kenya. And they adopted and sent to South Sudan in Juba in their blue house, which till today, nobody has seen him since February of this year. He was adopted in Kenya also. See, today, he was adopted by the state security from Sudan and uh, um, uh, um, uh, Sudan uh, and Kenyan security. And he was sent to, to Juba. But this guy was able to, he escaped from the place of adoption. That was why he could be able to even tell the story. And we are going to bring him on Radio Biafra. To tell our people, we will bring him, Mazitine to be ready. He will be on Radio Biafra. To tell our people, these are the things we were talking about. Mazitine Khan was kidnapped. Eight days in Kenya. Nobody. We were deceived that he was praying. People. Where, do you understand me? I mean, people were around him. He's in the mountain praying that everything. And the people knew. They knew the day they were testing in the in, in, in social media. He was in the mountain. That was the weekend they were planning to extradite Mazen Nandika to, to, extra, to, 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 to bring him to Nigeria. On 26th of June, people were writing on Twitter that Mazen on Twitter, the Secretary of Union wrote on Twitter that Mazen Nandekan was coming to broadcast. That was when they are thinking like as if we have got wind of the information, but we never got wind of the information. Oh, he's coming on air so that we think he's coming. On 26th of June, when he was captured, when he was adopted on 19th, and at the end of the day, those who knew that Mazen Nandekan, the question is this, do they know that Mazen Nandekan was captured? adopted that is the question they said they knew but they didn't trust any one of us and we are the one who have fought 
fought for Mazen Namdekano. When I did, I have done things I have never done in my life because of Mazen Namdekano. Because of this Biafran struggle. Because we believe in him. And this man was renditioned. The people that knew that Mazen Namdekano was kept in custody, they were communicating with him. They were negotiating with the people in Kenya. They were trying to extract money to say they will pay to leave Mazen Namdekano when Mazen Namdekano was finally flown to Nigeria. If care is not taken, I know Mazen Namdekano may want to protect his family members. If care is not taken, I can bet you that money at that point, money was extracted. That uh, we will use it to give them so they will leave you. I can bet you. And at the end of the day, Mazen Namdekan was renditioned to Nigeria. They turn around. I don't know how these people sleep in the night. I don't know how they sleep in the night. This set of people, I don't know how they sleep. They turn around and say that IPOD, the IPOB leadership, were the one responsible that sold Mazen Namdekano. That we are the one who sold him. They continue on that black man. And that black man has taken the life of people. When we are trying to save the life of Mazen Namdekano, we move into action to defend this life of this our leader so that they will not kill him all we got in return was blackmail forget about blackmail from anybody but blackmail from the family of our leader from the siblings of our leader anyway for me to be very honest not all the siblings also i can tell you that i can tell you that not all the siblings and I, I, I don't lie against people. The younger brother from Mazen Namdekano, Emmanuel Kano, have never in any way said that we are the one that sold Mazen Namdekano. He has never made such statements. And he don't say such a thing. But you people knew the one in Germany moving because he claimed he want to be. This is what we want to prevent. Now, who? Mazen Namdekano, can Mazen Namdekano sign consent that I am going into operation? Only him. Because he was already in the theater. So when Mazen Namdekano come out in a vegetative state, they told us, no, he signed by himself that he should go for operation. They said he signed by himself. They show you signature. Maybe when he was signing, they will video him. Because this is DSS. They will make a video, record him, every com conversation when he put the sign everything he said yes i'm signing i'm taking the consent that i'm going into this i take responsibility there will be video evidence if mazin namdekano comes out in a vegetative mode then with the world we see the video that mazin namdekano was the one who decided to go into this if you are an advisor to mazin namdekano if you are somebody that loves Mazen Namdekano, will you ever advise Mazen Namdekano to take consent to go into surgery under the scissors of his enemies, those who are keeping him under detention for over two years, those who are keeping him under solitary confinement for two years, those who have denied him, denied to release him after a Nigerian court of law have asked them, discharged him and acquitted him, will you be able to defend that case again, what would they say? They say, uh -huh. the DOS, China Sawaru, they have taken money. They are working for Nigerian government because they believe when they accuse you working for Nigerian government that the people will believe you. But I ask them a question. If you have any person in the DSS custody, if you have any DSS, ask them, are they looking for the brothers of Mazen Namdekano? No. Are they looking for those people that are talking about calling us? No. But are they looking for China Sawaru, Chike Dozim, Emma Powerful, Abanim, Chukwudi Oforma? 
are these people listed as wanted people by the DSS? Yes. If it is so, then I think Mazin Lamdekano, when their parents died, you saw his sibling. He came from Nigeria. He was part of the burial. If my father died today, let me ask any one of you. Do you think Tina Samoru can come for the burial? No. Do you think any of my family can come for the burial? No. These are the things we need to understand. Because people are talking rubbish. People are talking rubbish. And they want to bring it on the health of Mazen Namdekano. So tomorrow, like this, our sister said, you wake up the same as Nam Kanu went oppression. Something happened to him. Like she said, I know more than 10 women who developed, some of them died on the process when they hear that Mazen Nam Kanu was adopted in Kenya and brought. I, I, at least I was talking to minimum of 10 elderly women. 10. Who, when they call me, they hold their chest. I know at 10 women I was consoling and one of them later died. Though the other ones, I am not always in conversation with them since I tried to, I mean 10. But one of the women, I know she died. I knew this from her daughter. People develop sickness. And the next shock, President Kanu went, okay, he went for oppression. Uh, he came out memory loss. He had lost his memory. He, uh, people, the turn. It, it is DOS. It is DOS. That is why we continue. And I am saying it on radio. And I know this is what mem some members of the DOS are also saying with me. Send this message to Mazen Nandekano. I have already communicated him in my own way. I have called somebody who I have told him, tell Mazen Nandekano, I said he should not undergo any surgery. That is what I say. Otam Sikoya here. I will talk again. Sikoya Kuya Manaro Manomo Manandra. There were mass. Um, uh, you know, just uh, one second. When you look at maybe we don't know. It's only Mazin the Colonel that knows the pain he is going through with this sickness. You know, there is a play, a, 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 a kind of situation you can be. Yes, What is happening? Instead of going through this pain, uh, can we also check? in that corner you know we are not carrying the pen it is passing on the camera you can just say oh, now nah, you know but let me sign let, i will go to go, go. Uh, no. because of the pen no, no, how no, no, possible no, is it how possible Maze, i'm just I, asking <laughs> no no Maze, i agree with you i agree we have considered that situation that is why we said if such a thing want to happen Maze, are you hearing me the whole we world said, is hearing you go on Yes, if if such a thing need to happen, Mazen Nandekano must be allowed to bring in those doctors. They will go through. I am not an expert. They are the ones to determine that yes, Mazen Nandekano is in pain. Mazen, they can advise. Are you understanding me? When he see his private doctors, they will advise him. They may say, no, if we give you this medicine, it can sustain. Because the, the, the people are the only one he's seeing. He's not seeing other medical teams. Are you understanding me? So let us allow those professionals, those private doctors, it must be something round table. They will agree. The people can even advise my son, no, we can handle this in another way not the way Mazi, you somebody cannot say i want to commit suicide you tell him okay uh, because the life is so difficult for you commit the suicide Mazi, we will not accept it is our duty it's our duty to save him if we have the opportunity when there is danger it is our duty to intervene and that is what we are doing it doesn't matter what anybody say it doesn't matter what somebody say, whether you are the brother or the sister or the wife. We must continue to, even if they don't hear this advice secretly, we will shout it to the public. This is a leader of over 75 million people. My brother, Mazin Namdekano 
was renditioned. Look at what happened in Biafra land. If anything happened to him, what do you think will happen? There were Mazi There were, there were. I have callers waiting. Caller on WhatsApp, you have been there since going to 39 minutes. <laughs> Very easy. Caller on signal, please continue waiting. Call on or what's up? Please go on the platform. Is yours? Take four minutes, please, maximum. There we. Yeah, Mazi, good evening. There we, Mazi. Yeah, Mazi. Uh, I'm calling from Gabon. Under, uh, I'm the member of IPOB. Under Mazi Chima Made. Um, uh, we IPOB in Gabon. Uh, congratulating the leadership of IPOB. Especially the Thunder Voice, uh, We are congratulating you the job you are doing for IPOB around the world and the Black Front. Um, it's not easy. Um, if it's easy, it will be a, it's like a, a, a chess play. So that is why you can see all the whole saboteurs in our midst, in Black and the zoo. All of them are rising up, looking for a way to bring IPOB down. But I want to tell you that the Chuko Kabiyama, the God Almighty, uh, which, I, which IPOB and the, our leader Mazin and the Kalo. And I want to make it very clear to all, all zoo, zoological, uh, zoological republic around the world, and they must know. Uh, I think they, 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 they must understand that uh, they do not think that IPOB or their fans should rise up again this time around. And they are calling us terrorists, they are calling us a, all sorts of names. But I want to let them to know, understand that this struggle, we cannot go back about this struggle. Biafra must be restored. Biafra must be restored. Because I want to tell them to understand, especially their wives and their children, wherever you are, must, uh, must to tell your, your father or your mother, wherever you are in Nigerian government, to release Mazin and the Kalo. So, so that he can go and take his treatment. But he can not can have a wife, have children. He must go and take care of his children. Because he cannot, he cannot be, be beginning to mature somebody because he needs for his people to be free. So I want, I'm telling them now to do the needful. If you are in government, tell your father or your mother to make sure they release this man. The court in in the zoo, this court now they are running. Everybody are running. I want to go to court. I want to go to court. The court have said that Mazin and Kalo must be released unconditionally. Released up to now, they are still holding him. Everybody, Nigerians, the those in government, they, they are mute. But now they are running to the same court. I want to tell them that Akeji Yonwa, Akeji Yonyozo, in Igbo language. So, Maze, keep on doing the job you are doing. And uh, what I want to tell them that Biafra must be restored. No going back about it. We, IPOB in Gabon, we are doing a marvelous work here to make sure that Biafra is restored. No going back about it. In, in Gabon is the ladder. If you are in diaspora today, you're supposed to know the history of Gabon and Biafra. So, Maze, um, we are with you people. Kudos and Biafra must come. There were. Thank you. Thank you. I very much. There were. There were Maze. Caller on signal. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Maze, thank you for holding on for 32 minutes. Go on, please. You have four minutes maximum. Maze, go on. Yeah, Maze, Jonathan, good evening from here. There were. Thank you so much. Um, my beloved brother, Maze, Chilas, and Mary. Um, we have kind of understood why Mazin and the Kano Court have been a chamber. Um, you are really doing the needful. This is why you are a member of the U.S. and representing this work that Mazin and the Kano have put in your hands. That you must keep on doing what you're supposed to do, that this all move is keep on running. Colonel Biafra is lovers of freedom. My name is Maja Kat. I'm calling from Austria and I serve in the Euroclub Biafra at IPOB Austria National Theater. 
um Mazi Jonathan, I I love the question that you put Mazi in the way in the other way around that uh, uh, somebody that is in pain. Um it 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 to an extent the person might decide let me go and do this thing and, and you get myself free from this pain. And Mazi Sinas also reacted on that question to let you know let us know. The important why we must, we must not allow such things to happen because when it happens, the enemy will use it against the theory. Just the, way, the same way they did when the leader of ICO, the over 70 million population was kidnapped in Kenya. The GRS tried to know what happened to our leader. They, they, they denied to give them information what happened. Rather, they tried to just blackmail them and they know what happened to our leader. They told them that I'm not the mountain. Instead of giving the right, giving the right information that this tradition could have, could have stopped in Kenya, they want to replicate the same thing in the zoo. A man who has been kept 20 years now, we pray they beat the hell out of him and give him a problem. And they want to conduct Jesus Christ. They don't know how, how angry we are. If they know how angry we are because of the situation of Martin Mandicam, nobody will use his life to play with us. Nobody. Look at how Martin Mandicam is shouting here. This Martin Mandicam was the one who came out from his stomach. This is how all of us, all of us are wounded. For them, how do you imagine that for anybody to play? Let us be very careful. If there will be any oppression, imagine that they can already suffer. Let there be a round table. Just as all of us, what is it that you don't have to say? Or what is it that you don't have to say this to you? Let there be a round table. Before imagine that they cannot go on under any suffer. Because those that are planning this thing, we are praying at the end of the day when you are prayer, then we will say, Dear as you know about this, what happened. Go ask your ass. Go ask your ass. It will become something that happened in Kenya. We can't take it anymore. Now, you come as a man, you can't go to the air. Now, you come as a man, you can't go to the air. And only man who won't because of man, you can't go to the air. This time around, only she had. She had to have the idea of bringing her to the man, you can't go. In this time around, you will never open the matter. Thank you. There, woman, say thank you very much. We are gradually rounding up. Let me pick a caller on direct line before going to WhatsApp. Caller on direct line, please stretch to your contribution or questions within the limit of four minutes. Please go on. My name is Mazi Kujeke from Moro Province, and I'm currently living at the school of Biafra in. My goodness me. My goodness me. The line just caught. Caller on. Tell you, you're not from Moro Chineke. Caller on. Uh, what's up? Welcome to the program. Please go on within the limit of four minutes. There were more than I do. Who does that? Um, I'll watch you like that. Uh, there were more than more than the chamber. There were much like him. Um, I remember more than million malogo calling from United Arab Emirates, but the power of I'm a member of IPOP under the leadership of Wadan Nega in UAE here. Um, we have had everything that our commander, Mazichina Samoru, said about what is going on. Um, what we are telling Nigeria DSS, you know, sometimes we, some black people, behave like an animal and then that is why when white white people saw the, uh, the behavior of black people they start laughing at us you know 
something we should trash and they come into the round table to bring the good result on it that will benefit everybody. Nigeria DSS or whatever they call themselves know that Mazin Abdekano want Africa to be liberated from European slavery. And then they are playing a game on the on the life of the leader of 75 million people. You know, this is how uh, 1966 through 1970, when the war came gradually, they thought, they thought that it's a think of joke until the war broke up. And uh, we are IPOB, we are not joking. Whatever we tell you that we will do, we will do it. We have vowed to die for what we believe. We have vowed to die for what we believe. We are telling the Nigeria DSS and the, the new government of Nigeria now to do the needful and they release our leader for us because the courts have given justice to our leader. Our leader is not fighting Nigeria government, but he is fighting for the liberation of his people because the condition of his people is not good. We are saying this now because make sure that nothing happened to our leader Mazin Namdekano because our leader Mazin Namdekano we saw it as a god it's the god that we see simple our leader is the god to see we have no other hope than our leader Mazin Namdekano so let Nigeria DSS not play a game on the life of our leader and the, the family of our leader Mazin Namdekano should know that uh, Mazin Namdekano have grown beyond brother, a uh, family brother or family this, you know, the case of let them not take any job because this they still have what happened in Kenya in mind. The game that they play, that one still they we know all of you. We have know everything about all of you that 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 uh, that redition our leader to, to, to the to the hand of, of our enemy we know all of you and uh, we are saying that our leader must be released must be released must be released that is all I have to say and that is the agreement of all ITOB around the world there war. that nothing happened to our leader there war, Marzi. There war, Marzi. There war. thank you very much we are actually winding now call her on uh, what's up oh, sorry on signal please make it as brief as you could call her on signal can you hear me yes i can hear you there woman say, please as brief as you could go on please yes um um anyway to is necessary Maze, in a use, are you using earphone or earpiece? Please, you remove it, Bluetooth or anything. Okay. So let me go straight to the point. It it would be good to tell it to the enemy's face, to or to your enemy's face, what they are and whom they are. And it would be nice to let us know that all the whole parasitos in Nigeria, if it's their president, lawmakers, police, army, so on and so forth. Um, they is, is um, tagging them as terrorists. None of them is, uh, is exempt, exempted. Because all of them are working in one goal. Carrying, carrying out the beat of their Fulani Kabas. So this is 
whom we are dealing with. Okay, in Jordan hand, it, it has been observed by me that on Fridays, why do the the mosque uh, why they are making prayers on mosque they will block all the whole roads telling the indigenous of the land not to pass or have access on the road they're supposed to pass freely It is unacceptable. This is not our custom. And this is not our way of life. We will stand against such behavior in our land. They cannot come from, from Futajalon and not. and come down to our land to change our way of life. Thank you, Master. Yeah, Thank you very much for be being guided to the time limit. Caller on WhatsApp, you're the last caller. Welcome to the program. Please go straight to the point, please. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mazi. Good evening, sir. The yeah, well, Mazi, go on, please. Okay, okay. I have no much thing to say because uh, almost uh, everything I wanted to say has been said from um, by one person, by one person or the other. But it should be known by everybody. The only thing I have to say is it should be known by everybody that uh, what is it called, Barista Aloyeji Marco is what against the release of Mazen Namdekano. Enemies are using, but I have to say it and I have to make it openly. Because that man is not respecting him, him, his, himself. But it's that, Aloy Ejimako, enemies are using him. They want to use him to kill Mazen Namdekano. And uh, if Baris Aloy Ejimako says said that he is not, uh, that he is Namdekano's family lawyer, then he should be removed from I, from uh, uh, I, from those lawyers that IPOB selected. He should not. We should remove him from IPOB. Simple as that. He made himself open that he is only for uh, uh, Canon Takan. But in that he is not uh, he is IPOB, uh, for Enam Takan's. Then we should try as much as possible to remove him from IPOB lawyers. That is all I want to say for now. There will, there will. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm, Maze, I think uh, you will go on to also conclude so that we can exit from the program. Maze Chinas, I hope you're there. Okay, Maze Chinas, thank you so much. Um, I would just start from what this our brother said. I want to make something clear before I say other things that will end the program. Um, you know, the leadership, IPOB leadership, in one way or the other, let me not talk about me and um, our brother, um, Benjamin Madubu. We have made numerous efforts, and I think with other members of the DOS also personally, we have tried our best to make sure, because we know the enemies are working in line with these lawyers, you know they can play them we want all the lawyers to work in full understanding because it is all on our head but since the rendition of Mazen Namdekano we found out that it was all division anybody any people that the siblings of Mazen Namdekano found out he is working in any way to support they go, they unleash black men on you. They cause problem. They will, I don't know what, we have tried our best. Let these lawyers understand themselves. Let them work together. But 
it is all effort in futility because we have done like this thing you are saying we don't want that is why when i came on air last time i told our people do not do not in any way drag any ipob lawyer on social media we believe everybody is trying to contribute his or her own quota for the release of Mazen Namdekano. We try to get in touch, put things, but you found out that sometimes we have misunderstanding with them because number one, they are not IPOB members. Number two, they are there on legal grounds, but sometimes they overstretch. They overstretch what they know about IPOB and they want to make decisions for IPOB without even consulting IPOB. And when it turns out to problem, they withdrew. They say they don't know. Go to the IPOB leadership. And that time, when they take that wrong decision, you see also people who will come out and use that decision they have done, start attacking IPOB leadership. And where will it come from? It will come from the siblings of Mazen Namdekano. I am asking dear friends, what is wrong? What is wrong that the legal team were called and they, they were called and these things were discussed and they were asked to contact the family of Unindu to bring the lawyers. What stop? That is the question I want everybody to, to ask. It's a sensitive issue. Somebody sent me a message. I sent you. You didn't come back through that. Was it Mazen Nandekano that told them, don't go through those people again. Go through this person. These are questions. If these are the situation, what is happening? Can the leadership be blamed with all this dragging? If a Jofa and the Zekome have gone, to, the, the, to meet the DSS directorate. People don't understand that the government, the Nigerian government enjoys these things that are happening. They enjoyed it. They enjoyed it because it is intentional, planted. People will tell the brothers of Mazen Namdekano, don't accept that Chida Sawuru, DSS agent. Don't allow this DOS, they are the one causing the problem. They knew. They give them this thing, take it is your family business. So be, this is if anything, you people must secure. Everybody used to see the in-law of Mazin Namdekano on social media. When he's telling it is a family business. But why we are fighting is because we know it is not a family business. If it is a family business, China Award will not come out. If it is a family business, millions of their friends will not come out. Mazen Namdekano never in his life have he told us that this is a family business. If it's, that is what he told his brothers, we don't know. And when Mazen Namdekano regained his freedom, I will be very bold to ask Mazen Namdekano this question. Because the brothers have made it very clear it is about their family. That is why they fight us tooth and nail. What have we done to them? Where have we got it wrong? We have been running the IPOB even before the rendition of Mazen Nandekano. We were here when Mazen Nandekano was captured, was ad adopted in Lagos on 14th October 2020, 2015. We were here. We fought. We made sacrifice. At the end of the day, Mazen Nandekano regained his freedom. For one year plus, before Martin Namdekano resurfaces again in Israel, we continue fighting. And all of a sudden, Martin Namdekano was renditioned. The family turned blown on us. Suddenly, they brought their new leader, whom they want him to take over, because the IPOB leadership does not tolerate all this nonsense. It is not enough today. He has taken IPOB. This is a young, a sibling of Mazen Namdekano. Today he has taken IPOB to court in Germany. 
He has taken, before he took the IPOB media personnel, Biafra tried to court in Germany. He lost in that case. He has gone back again. He has took IPOB, IPOB as a whole in Germany to another court. This is another, another one. Does it mean the siblings of Mazin and Khan, they have no friends? They have no people who can advise them what they are doing? People like me, I am a very, I'm a mad person. My madness can go to the extent that I can do something people cannot believe. It is not only them. We can do and undo. But because of the respect we have for Mazin Nandekano, the respect we have in this struggle, we maintain. My brother, let, let me say it all. Nobody, there is nobody in this struggle. Any IPOB member in the top position in IPOB, he can do something you cannot expect. Because we have been, we, we have gone undergo certain things. We have undergo certain things because of this struggle. We are no more normal. But we try to maintain peace. We try to maintain peace. We try to avoid problem. We try to make things that problem don't come in the public. But every day and day, tell me, dear friends, who is staring the problem of IPO every day? Every day. Can you people tell me those staring the problem of IPO? Can you people tell me? And I want to say this thing. Some of you sometimes you wonder. Sometimes Mazen Nandekano sent a message for the leadership. Maybe he got wind of it. Immediately he transmitted to the people he's working with. It looks like IPOB leadership is dragging information with some people. Sometimes before a more powerful. Maybe a more powerful is preparing a press release. There is a way they got wind of it. Maybe they were there when Mazin and the Kano sent message. Say, tell a more powerful, I want you to put up a press release on this thing. While a more powerful is preparing the press release to give it to the press because he can't do it the same day and it come out the following day. He has to prepare it. There will be proofreading before it is sent out for the press. The moment Mazin and the Kano send the message, maybe any of them got the message from there. First, they go and they give the message to those they are working for to make sure Mazin and the, the person will go and they write about that particular topic before Emma Powerful will come to. And this message was given to them to help them in the legal, this thing they said they are filing. It is given, the information is released, maybe to give to them to file for legal cases. They say they are filing. They use it and give. So by the time Emma Powerful will write a press release, it looks like Emma Powerful is writing press release is somebody, a non-entity. Emma Powerful has been in this job. It's a loyal, it's a hardline member. It is a, he is a loyal servant for this job. It is not about being professor or being anything. Emma Powerful is not a professor. He's not master degree holder. Emma Powerful is a normal dear friend that Chukwa Kikadiyama is using to do this job for the indigenous people of Biafra. Sometimes people may think it is a professor, but the consistency, knowing what we need, the right time to put out the messages and be gone through by some top, uh, some, some, some uh, um, high level member of the GOS, who will put a touch. Of course, screening, there is any press release, and somebody will take the information. This is sabotage. Whether it is intentional or unintentional, or whether to do anything, these are all sabotage. Maz, if I may interject, just one second, please, if you allow me. Yes. Do, do you know that um, what they are doing, these actions, is sending a signal to the uh, Nigerian right. government to continue holding our leader. That, that, that is uh, a, you know, that is a direct message to them. 
Last because, message. Yes. When they say all these things, I want they say yes. Don't worry. Uh, they will they will break apart. Don't worry. And uh, they will continue Mazin. holding Mazin and the cannot here. They will continue. They will continue. Mazin, Mazin and the cannot do send message. Maybe when he send that message from a lawyer, he will say, my brother said they are handling a case in UK. They are handling a case somewhere, which he don't know whether they are handling or not handling. But he said, give them this information to add in what they are handling case. To, to add, as you understanding me, more, more information to the case. And they gave him a powerful to prepare a press release. The moment you see it, they give it to the infiltrator. He run and come out because he can write it on Twitter immediately. So by the time Emma Powerful will prepare a press release, send it because the press release automatically don't come that day. He send it today, it will come out tomorrow. They wrote it. So the tell people they are the one. You see the deception. And you ask yourself, DSS is reading all these things. They enjoy the manipulation. They enjoy the game. They understand the kind of people they are dealing with, and they are very happy. All these things delay the coming out of Mazen and the Kano, and they will run out and come and tell you they connect them with it. We will not even share any information again. There are information we cannot even tell Mazen and the Kano because mistakenly, what we are doing, he can tell him, and the mistaken may be where the brothers is. They say immediately, quack, it goes out. They go there and pretend as if from the time they rendition Mazen and the Kano, all their plan was. That's why I respect Mazen and the Kano till tomorrow, till next tomorrow, because even though he's in the DSS dungeon, he knew the men he was working with. Because the amount of pressure given to Mazen and the Kano in two years to dissolve the DOS. Even if we if they put that energy trying to release Mazen Namika, maybe they say we are not doing anything, they would have get more progress. If you say the DOS system, do something. Do something. This is the challenges. People should know. We don't come here to talk. We don't they're here. Let me tell you. They, they are number one, um, um, what do I say? They steal information like, like hell because they feed with information. They steal information. You see one of them when they hear, I can tell you my experience at some time. When you are talking with one of them at the early stage, he got information that he is shocked. He don't know about it. He doesn't he tell you he's coming. He's coming, you should wait. In the next five minutes, 10 minutes, it is written on social media. They give it to the agent they are working with. We know these things. You can be talking. I can tell you vividly, when they said we have we have closed down the Radio Biafra in UK, when they were bringing all allegations that Chief Edozium have sold Radio Biafra, is Radio Biafra not talking to you today? Is Radio Biafra not on is the radio Biafra license revoked in London? No. Is it not working? Is everything not in order? When they get small information, boom, they go gaga. They come. You people have sold. Am I selling radio Biafra? What am I going to use it to do? Without the people, am I the owner of radio Biafra? Am I, the, am I the owner of Radio Radio Biafra belongs to the people. Any day you take away Radio Biafra, it is not belonging to the people. You say it is your personal, that radio dies that day. That day, the radio will quench. Nobody will listen to it. People have come with different names, voice of Biafra, voice of uh, this, the Radio Biafra International. Have you been able to stand the test of time? No. It cannot. At the end of the day, you speak with them. One minute, boom, they take the information. They don't even listen. They don't even understand. 
what you are talking. We are in I, I am not new in IPOD. I didn't see them participate in any decision making in IPOD. I have not seen them. If that is the one they are doing, let them do that one. Let them do that one they are doing. Maybe there is one day we are doing. Let them move in that direction and channel and put their energy and leave the DOS alone. To come to tell us before DOS take decision, they have to come and consult you. I don't have the anger of Kai. Because they thought we are people they can intimidate. When they go and speak with governors, when politicians pay them visit, drop a consultation money for them. When they leave, they tell them, don't worry, we are the IPOB leadership, we will decide what will happen. After you have deceived yourself in that tiny world, you think you will come and put it on IPOB? As long as I am still serving the indigenous people of Biafra under my watch, it will not happen. Not today, not tomorrow, not next tomorrow, not until Biafra comes if I am alive. And it's one of the questions we will ask Mazen Nandek and when he comes out. Because it is good. This pen, all Biafrans all over the world, I know people are angry on the role of the siblings of Mazin Nandekano. And everybody is saying, if Mazin Nandekano come out, he will speak to us continent by continent and tell us if this struggle is a family struggle or it is for the Biafran people. These are questions that they should tell Mazin Nandekano before he comes out. Because I have heard it from several coordinators. I have heard it because our people feel disappointed. And we have to, if we say we have come for Biafra, we must be honest. If my brother did not participate in the restoration of Biafra, he will not eat any fruit coming from the Biafra. I can dash him something as my brother, dash him something as my sister, but he will not reap. Before, before he will reap, those who fought for Biafra will reap first before if you are my brother or my cousin or my relative. This is me. As I'm talking, my people, they know me. Even in the country I live, they know me. They know my mindset. You are my friend. We are doing Biafra. I don't have problem with you. I can do anything with you. You, are not, you don't support Biafra. I don't have problem with you. But don't sabotage me. But let me make it very clear. Biafra comes tomorrow. Our friendship is our friendship. You are my brother, you are my brother. But you will not benefit from the Biafra struggle. You will not first take any fear. Before any Biafra, no matter where he comes from, no matter how old he is, you will, even the parents, even if the parents of that person, if the father, who fought for Biafra is not alive. The children will get share before you. Then we the Biafra number one citizen. And you yourself may be the third Biafra number three. Hey, China as Biafra, again we first citizen. Yes. Every country there are first class citizens. And those who fought for Biafra will be the first class citizens. I don't give a damn. Those who fought for Biafra are the first citizens. And they are the one who will benefit from Biafra. Some people think we are joking. But all they may have room now, yeah. But before I close this evening, there are topics I want to talk about over what is happening in our law. Over what is happening in our law. There are many adoption boiling places in our law. But I'm going I'm going to come for a program by next week specifically on what is happening between our law and Ambara. It will make majority of what we are going to discuss. And Mazi, we are going to make the the, the telephone the line open early so that people can call it and tell us first-hand information, their experience. 
from the area. If you are calling, you don't need to call your, tell us your location, but we want first class information. There is nothing to hide. What was in the name Tell us the situation happening in your place. The challenges happening in your place. So that we need anything we will do, we will come in to do it. Because of that, I'm not going to talk much because I want to go deeper in the issues happening in our law like this. It is a gradual process. When crime has taken over this place, it is gradually we are going to do what? Try our best. In Imo State also, the same thing is happening. If you go to Imo State, a lot is also happening. They continue to attack. They continue to attack our people in Abombise area. Umoguto Amozo. The Bubago continue to terrorize our people in this area, burning people's houses. There is one, His Royal Highness, there's a GC and you from Obo over in Abom DC. He is the one conniving with the Bubago to burn the houses of people in that particular community. I have come on radio, therefore I said, in any community they burn the house of our people, we are going to retaliate. And I'm making it very clear. I don't want to say it. We will draft ESN into this community. And as a, this stupid as a working with hopes of them, will tell us the reason why. As a, he will tell us the reason why he is sending a good argument. To, uh, to adopt and burn houses of IPOB members they have chased away and innocent people they accuse. Everybody is a different. And they are telling you, do they want to burn every house belonging to every evil man? Does it mean that our people till now don't know that everybody is a different? If they, you have problem in business, you have problem with somebody, you tell them it's IPOB. They go back go and attack him. And this is going on. Nobody is talking. We are going to pay as Aduku back in his own coins. That day, the DSS, write it down and they add it in the charges you have against Tina Samoru. We, we, we win. We win. Do you understand me? We win. We will pay back. We will pay back. For more than how many weeks now? Any information you got, both those who are not IPM, somebody say, Ezajuku, you have problem with people. You are dragging land with people. You are having personal problem with people. You will call a Bubai to tell them this person is IPO. They will come and burn the house if they don't find the person. Tell Ezajuku, we are going to pay him back. Makachineke. Let DSS write it and add. Those you have burned their houses, will make sure they pay you back in your own coin. The nonsense is getting out of hand in Imo State, and we are going to prepare for them. Because we found out now it is innocent people. IPOB members, most of them gently leave the town for you, so you are now looking for those who are sympathizers. If you see any young boy have Mac, you pick him away and kill. Why? Do you people know what you are doing? All these things are the challenges we are having in all, which I know I'm going to come and we are going to open the line to make sure, especially you go to America, everybody see what is happening there, how they are attacking, killing innocent people for no reason. They attack, they kill for no reason. And for that reason, I'm asking every IPOB member, all oh, their friends, we must all remain strong. It is not going to be easy. We know that. But we are now in the game. We are in this battle. There is no surrender, no retreat, no surrender. Have any one of you imagined 
if all of us back down from this struggle, what is going to happen? If we say, because of what these people are doing, that we are going to back down, I'm telling you, for those of you backing down, thinking you sabotage, they are going to pick you one after the other and they will kill you. That is why we cannot back down. That is why we cannot surrender until the mission is accomplished. Freedom, it is not given on a platter of gold. Freedom is not something easy. A lot of sacrifice going to be made. We have already met a lot. And I can tell you, as we are fighting, the IPOB leadership is making effort. We have stepped in strongly on our diplomatic moves. We are making progress. Making progress. And we are invested in it. Because tomorrow, when Martin and the Colonel come out, <laughs> that's why Martin and the Colonel come out. I did this. It's because of me. You know, people like to take credit what they know and what they don't know. Somebody will tell you because I wrote a letter to the Prime Minister of this state. He read my letter. He asked them to release Mazen and the Kano. All these are rubbish. I make it very clear this evening. The hands holding Mazen and the Kano. Is the same type of hand that held Nelson Mandela for many years. We better wake up from and face the reality. We better wake up and face the reality. Many hands are holding Mazen Nandekano. Not only that DSS or Nigerian government you are seeing. This is a very big fight. We do not need to, to backslide and start waiting or talking. Mazen Nandekano is not a police station where you go and grant him bail. Mazen Nandekano, his case is not a case of bribery. Let's bribe somebody so they can, it is not his case. For those staying, thinking, if anybody telling Mazen Nandekano, if I give this person 100,000, they release you, give this person, only a woman and the canon while you he's a criminal. They are feeding on that. In case of Mazen and the canon need the voice of over 75 million. We must all stand up because what Mazen and the canon represent, he represents freedom. He represents the restoration of Biafra. He represents destroying where the, all these scavenger slave masters are feeding up. That is what Mazen and the canon represents. They know the struggle championed by Mazen Nandekano is going to free millions of people in Africa. That's what it represents. And that is for those who don't know. Even the family who doesn't know the worth of their brother, by their actions, they discredit what the man has built. They have lowered this struggle to something of caricature. From their behavior, their utterances, and their engagement and rascality. This struggle that people fear wide and far. We know people fear IPOB tomorrow. The moment they rendition Mazen and the Kano, people go to sell IPOB for nothing. Tell them, don't worry. I will do this. Don't worry. And we are the leader. Don't worry. Because they just hand over a small envelope for you. Give it to you, You are right. You are that is all. And buy a car and cruise. Is there another thing you do? We must all know that this is a serious issue. What we are fighting is freedom for a nation. Some countries fought for it 20 years, 25 years, 40 years. And we prepared. I am not telling people that we are going to stay 20 years, 30 years. But one thing is that as long as we have decided, we have given ourselves, it is a mission of no return. If you are an IPOB principal officer, be careful wherever you are. 
be very, very careful. If you are a member of the DOS, be careful wherever you are. Your principal officer, be careful wherever you are. Media personnel, be careful. The Nigerian government is looking for everyone how to bring you down. I don't know if they look for the big ones they didn't get, they will catch anyone they found. Know the way you move, know the people you communicate, know the people that give you promises. Be very, very careful. When you hear that the Nigerian government has spent 600 and 670 million US dollars trying to dislodge IPOB, you thought it was a joke. If you calculate it at the rate of 750, 750 naira per dollar, it is coming around 509 billion, 500 million, or 502 billion, 500 million naira. 5.5 billion. 500.5, not 5, 502 or 507, depending on the rate you use it, 500, let me just put it at 507 billion, 500 million naira. What Nigerian government has spent in two years since the rendition of Mazen Nandekalo to buy over and destroy IPOD. That is the money when you see uh, um, um, global index write the rubbish report it is from that money they bribed them today they are in court with IPOB they are claiming that they, what the people they are talking is IPOB ESM worldwide not IPOB Australia where we took them to court they are a we see them but we are coming eh, that the people they are talking about is IPOB and I say hey am I going to IPOB to IPOB we are in over 100 and something countries they thought they find a way they want to escape. If they are confident of what they did, why they stand? They said, yes, it's IPOB we are talking about. It is you people we are talking about. Now they are trying to tell us, no, it is not this IPOB in Australia. We are talking, it is IPOB. We are talking about IPOB ESN. They are not, this is the IPOB. What is IPOB ESN? So you didn't know before you write a report against IPOB. When I came here and told the people about Lord Ahmed in Liverpool, these are the people. Lai Muhammad was outside. They carried all the information they gathered against Onyendu. And all the blackmailing Mazen Nandekan and IPOB around the world. Spending money. You see Tony Blair Institute write about IPOB. They receive part of the money. You see the uh, 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 USA Department, some of them trying to write something about They receive part of the money. You see journalists, all of them, those who will come and write and say IPOB this, I, all that thing, IPOB do this, IPOB, they are part of the people who receive share, blackmail them, destroy them, make them to be angry, make them to back out, tell them, blackmail them, tell them they are criminals, continue to tell them if you continue, the people will reject them. How far? How far? We are not even normal. I don't know how we come this. I believe the spirit of Biafra have over overwhelmed us. They have taken over our spirit. That's why we could be able to stand all this. Because a normal person can never pass through what IPOB leadership have passed through in these two years. And we are still standing. It is not that we are powerful, but it is the, by the grace of Chukwoki Kadiana. He know we are, we are dedicated. He know millions of Biafras won the restoration of Biafra, and it is because of you, you, all of you, who have devoted your time, continue to preach the restoration of Biafra, speaking up for the rendition of Mazen Nandekano. That is why every one of you have become a stumbling block against the enemy. All of you who rose up to speak in favor of this struggle, to stand in the gap, when the enemy is about to pull this house down, all of you are much naked. That's what Mazen and the Colonel call all of you. And to this end, I urge every one of you, as we have finished our 30th May, the instruction given by Mazen Chike, Dozien 
for us to change all our profile pictures. We are returning our profile pictures back to the Freemason and the Kano profile picture that we were using before the 30th May. Every IPUB member, we expect you to return back to that particular profile. Return to that particular profile. I will tell you, there are people they feel so big. Sometimes when we give these instructions, some want to, they claim maybe they don't know, or they, but they don't, they know. It is a simple instruction. It is not China Samoru picture you are putting. It is a picture of Mazen Nandekan. It's a solidarity that many of us who stand behind him, it is not compulsory you must work with us. You may wait. If Dafra come, you they form political party, you go and join them and you cheer. It's not necessary. Don't like me. But if you see the people that are doing the right thing, after two years, what have you found in DOSD? But after two years, you have found out those people who came to destroy the struggle. You have found a lot of, you have found numerous crimes, numerous fraud, numerous things. Things they have done against the struggle. After two years, what did you find against the leadership of IPOD? Nothing. The only thing you can talk, you stay in your phone room. What are they doing? What are they doing? You think it's talk? You think those things are talk? That's a talk for fools. That the struggle is alive today. You don't know how it is. And finally, we know people are saying, oh, we are still not receiving radio, we are, we are coming. I can assure you. That is a project. We are not backing down. Transmitters are ready. Mounting them, putting them in the right places. Not those who cannot be able to take care of the transmitters. Biafra land will be covered by radio. There is not in Kabul in Kenya. They are ready. As time goes week by week, a bonus state, the soccer axis, all these places, a quiet bomb, all the, all these places, down to everywhere. We are, it's not today, speak today, tomorrow. And we are also asking those people who are in charge of radio Biafra, make sure, make sure you are taking care of the radio. Maintenance is the key. Bless every one of you, wherever you are, you're listening to me this evening. We have come and we are not going back. Whatever they do, you can count on us that we will continue to fight until Mazen Nandekano regains his freedom and therefore restored. There is no going back, no retreat, no surrender. Once again, my name is Mazen Samoru. I serve the indigenous people of Biafra as a member of the Directorate of State as in Kachifo no Mochineke. Dewo Mazen Chineke. Dewo Mazen Dewo Biafrans and lovers of freedom. This we have come to the end of this program. Remember, there are many calls or callers. I saw about 2,000 plus missed calls only on WhatsApp alone. Know ye that we cannot speak all the calls, it's Im practically impossible. Tomorrow is another day. And also understand that whatever we are passing through in this struggle, no matter how difficult and tedious it is. It is not something that is uncommon to this type of struggle of this magnitude. Whatever we are passing through, we must go through it. Others pass through it. It is not something uncommon. So, do not be ever discouraged, nor be confused. We will continue. Consistency is the key. Remember the word from our leader consistency is the key we will never retreat neither surrender because we have no back to go to thank you for listening biafra is our religion biafra is our ideology from me ma azichinedu together with ma azichina samoru it is simply good evening uh, 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 uh,